I hope that you're sitting comfortably because you and I are about to go on an adventure. It's okay though, there is no need to be frightened. <laughs> Absolutely nothing bad happens in this story. <laughs> Nothing but good feelings and happy endings. I think I die. I think I die. Welcome to Raft the Movie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today's adventure starts where all adventures start. The beginning. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Come on. Okay. All right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be here. Oh, ooh. Ooh. hold up, oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, oh. oh no, the world doesn't stop, I mean that's, that's all ocean, that, there's no land, how stable is this, oh, oh, oh. it's fine, we're not wappy, we're not wappy, no warm up, no teasing, just full on deposited onto a raft in the middle of an ocean. There was only one thing to be done. Learn this hook thing that I seem to have on me. What is this? Oh. It's like a hook. I'm guessing I catch shit. Do I have to wait? Wait, this isn't a fishing line, isn't it? It's not going to... Oh, fuck off. Wow. Come on, get the barrel. Get the barrel. Get the barrel. Tap it. Oh, I got it. What do I do? Oh, I can pull stuff in. Plastic, plastic, stone, plastic, plank, plank. As you can see, we weren't exactly going to win any awards with our hook throwing, but I began to understand the main mechanic of the game throw the hook, catch some resources, and you said resources to craft lots of things. Ooh, fuck off, shit. Oh, I... I'm not a hateful person at all. I understand the... I try and understand... Understand... I try and understand the beauty of most things in life, and I understand the importance of, of different creatures and, and how they fit into the ecological puzzle which is life apart from there's two things i think in the world as we know it that can just fuck up number one is wasps number two sharks no place for them whatsoever can i catch the shark no i don't want to catch the shark it turned out that my hatred towards sharks was completely justified as this specimen that was circling my raft turned out to be a bit of a prick. What happens, like, can I get- how do I- ah! Oh, fuck off! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I can't throw anymore. I can't throw anymore. What's going on? As we were getting to grips with this hook and scooping the contents of my ass back inside me, we thought it prudent to name the marine pest that was circling my raft. What do you call a shark? What's um what's a name that is like you don't like? That if you if you hear a name you kind of use universally agree that that person's a bit of a bellend. Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle can fuck off. Apologies to all the Kyles out there, but you're only offended because deep down, you know it's true. As the day progressed, we began to dive into the crafting menu. Here, we got a glance of all of the things which could be built and crafted, and let me tell you, there was a whole lot of it. For us, we began with humble beginnings, and simply just started to add more squares to my floating raft. The more squares I added, the further away from the ocean I was. Beyond this though, we needed sustenance to survive, so we added a water purifier to our raft. This rudimentary device was slow, but it did provide us with clean drinking water. Water was all fine and dandy, but we would also need some calories. Introducing the planter. Now, we could add potato seeds that we'd found at sea 
into the planter and grow our very own family of tatties. What's better than tatties, I hear you ask? Roast tatties. So we built a simple grill to cook them on. My belly was full of potatoes and my brain filled with good ideas as next we crafted the research table. Here we could research individual components to unlock the ability to craft tools, trinkets and other useful devices. Right now I didn't have too much use for it but I was hoping it would come in handy as we progressed. What really did come in handy however was the paddle we crafted. This could nudge us in the right direction which for us was our very first island. It's not. <gasps> Land! Land! Sweet, sweet grass between my toes. Rock. None of this. Ocean. What can I do here then? There's not going to be anything on this island that can hurt me. Is that a fucking watermelon? We can plant the watermelon seeds. Quenches thirst. I've suddenly got really thirsty now. It turned out that watermelon wasn't the only fruit on this island. Coconuts? Is that coconut? Oh, look at this. M oh. My God. You can't fathom how much I love mangoes. If you were to... Um... <gasps> what is... <gasps> what was that? Was that that? That wasn't the mango, no. Surviving the attack from the vicious bird, we explored the island further and stumbled across a shack. Here at the shack, there appeared to be some sort of trade system where you could trade in certain types of fish for various rewards. There was also a crate nearby which contained two resources we hadn't seen before, vine goo and hinges. Now. If you thought that this couldn't get any better, you would be absolutely right. Things got a lot worse. Upon trying to paddle my way back round the island, our fragile paddle disintegrated in our hands, which left us unable to escape the clutch of the island. With no plastic in my inventory, I couldn't build another one. This meant I had to do something I was hoping to avoid. Swim into the ocean. And it went about as well as you'd expect. Uh, no, face your face, face your face. He's smiling. <gasps> oh, God. Can we go for it now? Go. He's distracted. Go. Oh. Uh. Uh. oh, I'm half health. Quick, just get these. Go, 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 go. Swim, please swim. Please swim faster. Please swim faster. Uh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, I can, oh, I can press space bar and I go. Get up. Oh, sweat? What is wrong with me? With just a solitary piece of plastic acquired, this wouldn't be enough to build the paddle. So we had to venture back onto the island. Here, we discovered a pumba. It turned out though that, like Kyle, pumba was a bit of a fanny waffle because he killed us. <sighs> Lose two thirds of my inventory. I don't know if he's going to rescue me. I don't have any friends. What proceeded next was a vicious loop of death after death after death in search for the plastic to build the paddle. Now, there might have been a way for a more experienced player than I to escape the island, but for me, I was at my wit's end. So... We restarted, this time bigger, better and braver than before and it didn't take as long to get back up to speed. We immediately crafted the paddle so we could navigate to the passing island. We built ourselves the water purifier and a small grow bed for our potatoes. Next up was a bed, now we could sleep away the dark nights and forget about the circling Kyle. Speaking of Kyle, we were also sensible enough to craft a wooden spear, which meant we could now fend Kyle off every time he came for a nibble. And it wasn't long until we finally inflicted some revenge. Oh, fuck off. <gasps> oh, the shark's dead. Can I not harvest it? What can I do? Oh. Can I not do anything with it now? 
Oh, hold E to pick up. Am I picking the raw shark meat? A what? A shark head. Right, what do I not need? Fuck the mango seed. This is like a... Fuck off. Wait, how do I go first person? Third person? <gasps> oh, it's me. <laughs> I'm wearing Kyle. What button did I press for that? Nice. Can I like, I can run around like this. <laughs> nice. I'd like to think that that was the only shark that was going to attack me, but. Although the thing is, as much as I like wearing that, that's a bit that's a bit annoying, is it not? So, uh, I, I would like to make some more storage. There's some things in life that just give you confidence. A fresh trim when someone subscribes to a YouTube channel, that's a hint. Or when you kill a shark. Because of this newfound confidence that was instilled within me, I flew past the next few days and added things like more storage units to my raft to hoard all the goodies I was hooking in. We then decided it was time to expand the raft. There. <laughs> Shit, I missed all the barrels. So how do I build like another floor then? Oh, I keep bringing that up. Uh, wait, maybe I need to put a pillar down. <gasps> oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my sail's going to get in the way. Ooh, look at this. I still want to be able to access the outside bits, so I don't want to build it right up to it. Uh, we need more pillars. Oh, shit, I need more nails. Oh, no. I have, like, no scrap. Okay, this is definitely going to be a work in progress, then. Oh, wait, I need to build a, a an axe. Oh, wait, can I put the calendar up? Oh, I can, I can, I can, I can. We're going to put it on the... Well, I wanted it to go there. Here. 11! We've done 11 days. We're like a tenth of the way there. I mean, if 100 days is my end goal, I don't even know at this point. I don't know if I have the patience to survive for 100 days. Now that we had the calendar, it would be much easier to track our progress day by day. If only we could track where all the scrap and nails were, because we were woefully short on them. This meant that we would have to build the second floor bit by bit and wait until we can craft some more nails. A lot of days in Raft are spent simply yeeting my hook out into the ocean. It honestly becomes almost like a trance. Hearing the waves and the repetitive motion of casting the hook makes you lose track of time. And over time, we managed to gather some more scrap, which we could turn into nails. These nails could then be used to craft pillars, and these pillars would allow us to finish the second deck. Right. Let's finish the floor here, right. Need more nails, but you can kind of see, see what I'm doing here, yeah? We added our research table and our sail back onto the second deck whilst we waited to get the resources to build the third deck where the sail would be staying permanently. On our travels, we ended up finding the biggest island yet. So of course, we went on an adventure. Let me just save the world. This looks like it's getting awful buggy. I think that's okay here. Oh Lord. Oh. No, we've got a goat thing. Ah, oh, there's Pumba. Right, let's keep away from the Pumba. I really, really hope that doesn't move. Oh my god, look at this. A crate, a hinge, metal ore. Oh, vine goo. Oh, I need at least two bits though, because I need one to research. I need to build a shovel somehow. I don't know what you do with cave mushrooms. I'm so scared that my raft is just like yeeting off into the distance. Oh my god, look. Oh, it's a shark, isn't it? There's going to be something tasty up there. Is this a dead end? I'm so scared the crap's going to be gone. Then what do I do? Oh, we're high. We are high. Right, go up here first. Maybe. Oh, 
can't do anything ever. Oh, it's there. It's still there. It's still there. Praise the Lord. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. No rush. A little, little bit of rush. A little bit. A little bit. Mango. Anything good? Oh, glass. Oh, God. Yeah, we want that shit. Right, let me... Let me make some space here. Right, okay, that seems to be everything. Let's let's get back. Let's get back. There is something so satisfying about making a house a home. Taking a concoction of inanimate objects adhered together for the purpose of simply providing shelter, but adding some flair to them, some pizzazz some personality to it and making it your own. I haven't watched a single piece of racked content. I've never played the game before. I've never seen a let's play. So I have no idea what is capable in terms of raft building. Now, I am sure that there are some absolute mutants out there that can build the most extravagant of structures, but they aren't as good as this one because this one is mine. I built it. Every plank, every nail, every pillar was collected and created by me. This was a whole lot of fun. You complete a vision by crafting it into existence. And then this vision expands as you think of new ideas or new things that you want to add to your raft. At first, I thought this game was simple, even empty. But now, I'm just beginning to discover just how deep this game can be. Oh, <laughs> look at these. I enjoy this. I enjoy this. I don't quite have enough. Oh my god, we're on day 16. In fact, let's sleep until the day. Sleep until the day. Day 17. Oh, we're hungry. A little bit hungry here. We still had a ton of things which we needed to learn how to craft. In order to start building some of the more interesting things in the game, we would need resources like metal ingots. As far as I understood, which is probably not very far at all, we would need the schmelter to melt the ore into ingots. And in order to get the schmelter, all we needed to do was research a dry brick. Luckily, I had made one earlier. All you needed was two sand and two clay and boom, a wet brick. You placed the wet brick on the ground and over time it became a dry brick. So I researched the dry brick, thus unlocking the schmelter for crafting. Now I just needed a ton more bricks to actually craft it. What are these? These are valuable. Oh, I thought it was like emerald or something. It's just metal ore. Did I get some sand there? I did get some sand. I did. After spending a couple of days here on the island, diving into the ocean and scooping up the clay and sand whilst avoiding Kyle, we finally managed to gather enough to craft the bricks we needed for the schmelter. Planks. Right, let me make as many of these as we can. Three, two, one, go. Seven. Seven, and then... We get them drying here like that. Perfect, and then we can make the schmelter. I'm probably going to put up here. A day or so later, the bricks were finally dry, meaning it was time to craft the schmelter. All right, let's guide her in. Make sure she's going. Oh, look, my dry bricks are all up as well. Look at that. Can I build my schmelter now? Can craft. Here it is. My schmelter. Where do I put it? Shall I put it there? Oh well, right, here we go, here we go. The smelter had been overwhelmed by the emergence of another big island ripe for exploring. I guided the craft in and went to explore the fruits that this island had to offer. She moved quite a bit then, I'm gonna make the anchor, I'm gonna do it. Anchor, four stone, yeah, it's not for me, it ain't worth the risk. You know, you might be watching this going, but you're absolutely fine, but it's, it's in the game, you'll be fine. I won't be fine. It's not worth the anxiety that I have to go through. Craft my wooden spear. So there we are, we have full ones, right? Let's explore the island. <sighs> seen me. Mate, can we outrun it? Bet you it can't go down here, can it? Keep moving, keep moving, don't wait. Keep moving. Oh, it's actually coming around the sides. It's intelligent. 
Here, we'll come down there after. We still... I still don't know how to get fish bait. I forgot about the birds. These islands are so dangerous, man. All right, we've got some bolts, some hinges. Just keep jumping about, keep jumping about, keep jumping about. I need the bow and arrow, so I need that vine goo. I was kind of hoping I'd get some vine goo. Any crates? Just checking. Yeah, it's still the same. God damn it. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit, that hurt. Ah, fuck. I really need a shovel. Where did I park my raft again? Oh, my God. What is that? Okay. That was slightly less uneventful than the last big one that we went to, but it's okay. We managed to get some resources, but nothing... Nothing too crazy. So we'll uh, we'll continue our journey. Let's get this. Let's get that off. Look at us casually exploring an island without dying. We were getting good at the game. Getting so good, in fact, that a peasantry simple water purifier was well beneath us at this point. So we crafted a better one. Right, while we're here, let's... Uh, we can do this. We can do... If we get the glass... We've got the planks. We should now be able to make ourselves the advanced purifier. Does not require fuel. Right. Well, that in that case, where does this go then? Ta-da! What do I do? Oh, wait. No, we, de we don't want it there. Because I need to be able to access the ocean easily to fill it up, don't I? So that, that was silly. Let's um just quickly get that fresh water so we ain't wasting it water the crops and then let's remove that and then this goes there so how does this work oh we're near the thing fill with salt water can i fill it up lots of times like is that a thing it was a thing and this thing was much better than the old thing it could hold three cups worth of water so it made purifying water a whole lot quicker. Shortly after, we were treated to another large island breaching our horizons. So, of course, we set out on an adventure to explore, and this time we were able to find some vine goo. We now had everything we needed for the bow and put it to immediate use. Are we ready? Craft. That's fucking durability. This vine goo is going to piss me off. Trying to get it. Right. I need to go test on something. Should we go see if we can kill a pumba? <sighs> that hurt. <sighs> How'd you get there so quick? Oh, please die. Not good. Not good. No! How? Oh, I've got no ammo left in this. Oh. oh well. I don't want to risk dying. I'm getting to 100 days. We need to play this safe. Off we go. Speaking of safe. I was done with wasting resources on crafting the single-use anchor every time I found an island. It was time to upgrade and build the fully-fledged, proper, permanent anchor. Anchor. Craft. Just like that. Just like that, baby. Oh. My God, it's fucking huge. Where's... Wait, how... I'm confused. What? What am I doing wrong? Oh, does it... Wait, does it have to have a hole in it? Shite bag. Wait, so... Oh, I don't have an axe. Oh, I need wood to build an axe. If I take this one out... Oh, that... Oh, no, it's not symmetrical. Oh, wait, this isn't symmetrical. Take this out. Oh, I did it! I did it! Oh, now I just need to build the three there. I mean, it's kind of ruined the vibe and the symmetry of this, but look, how does it work? Drop anchor. <laughs> it's going nowhere. 
Ooh, plank. Right. Nice. That was a lot of effort. for. We didn't need it right now, but we will need it in the future. So, short-term gain. Short-term loss. Long-term gain is the saying that they say. It wasn't long till we put the anchor to good use as we stumbled across one of the floating structures. Anchor drop. Nice. Just gives me a little bit longer to get up. Better safe than sorry when it comes to the abyss, let me tell you. You do not want to be messing up on the ocean. <laughs> Makes me wappier like you wouldn't believe. Things were going well, but as good as my raft was, there were some minor areas for improvement. Namely, the cooking situation. Endlessly cooking raw potatoes one by one was becoming tedious, so it was time to upgrade to a proper grill. And then let's put in the new grill, which is way too big to go there. So where are we going to... We'll, we'll put it here. Look. Oh, it's an actual barbecue. <sighs> Nothing, and I mean this with complete and utter sincerity, by the way. I'm not messing about here when I say this. I'm not, we're not going to talk about this topic of conversation lightly, but I firmly believe that barbecue is the best kind of food out there. There are so many great foods. Sushi, for example, really, really good. Italian pizzas and pastas. Ramen, fish and chips, all of them fantastic. But if you were to get the best of any cuisine, so I'm talking the best sushi dish available, the best pizza in the world, or the best barbecue, the barbecue would win hands down. Having a fully fledged grill does something to you as a man. There's an instant level up in your man points department. And whatever it was, it boosted my testosterone and I needed to fight something. So we pulled up to a medium sized island and noted it had animals on it. So what better thing to do than craft some stone arrows and go hunting? Sh shit. Get closer. Get closer. We've got to watch out for a pumba. Oh, where's it going? Stay still. Stay still, you cretin. Yes. That's three hits. Four hits. Five hits. Come on, surely. <laughs> How is it still bouncing? Biomechanically. That was a headshot as well. Seven. Oh, missed. Where is he? Where is he? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Ow. What? 10, maybe? Yes! One tapped. The kill shot. Give me those arrows back. Now, what can I do with you, Bambi? What do I do with it? Do I chop it up? Can I pick it up? Like, hold up. What do I do? Wait, do I need a knife of some sort? Weapons? An axe? Oh, shears. Oh, God. Is that what I need? I don't have any metal ingots. The thought of a quick dip into the ocean to collect some more metal always put to bed as I was feeling wappy as the dark started to descend on the island. Instead, we opted to sleep the night away and explore the island further in the daylight. We dug some holes, we got some dirt, and then put my big boy pants on and went for a swim. Could this be vine goo? Seaweed? That's new. Seaweed. What do we do with seaweed? Can we eat it? Hmm. All right, we need more stones because we need these for arrows. Oh, I don't like going far out. There's fish here. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? I'm hurting. Did that? Oh no. That was a puffer fish, wasn't it? Wounded by the enemy puffer fish, we thought it best to head back to the raft and avoid any of the other dangers that could be lurking on the island. The problem with that, though, is that it didn't go to plan. We're one sneeze away from death there. Oh! No! Oh, 
my god, nah, what the fuck? How can I be so fragile to a pebble, to a bird dropping a pebble? What am I gonna lose here? Don't lose the bow. I hate durability. I hate durability in video games. Does that count as a day? No. Ah, this pebble. This pebble, it'd cost me time and resources. A goddamn pebble. Surely things couldn't get any worse. This is the worst of stuff. Oh, great. And you know that body that I used with so many arrows to kill? <laughs> it's despawned. <laughs> Fuck this game. Alas, a difficult start. Death and despair. At least now, things couldn't get any worse. Oh, not the start I wanted. It wasn't. Oh, plank. Yep, we need that. <gasps> oh, I hate that so much. Get up. I oh, have genuinely on my life. It, oh. oh it makes my fingers fizz. Listen, we aren't going to get anywhere with this negative Nancy attitude. It's time to bring some positive vibes and make this game my bitch. A couple of days went by and we found ourselves tumbling into some smaller islands. We gathered enough resources to craft another storage box so we could store even more potatoes. At one of the islands, we decided to look for some more seaweed. You see, new resources were important to us. If they were new, we could research them. If we could research them, then we could find out what we could craft with them. And if we knew that, then we progressed through the game. Lots of seaweed. Oh God, I've really got to swim out for this, haven't I? Oh, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. This isn't, this isn't okay for the love of God. Please, please, please don't let there be anything. Please don't let there be anything. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. can't it doesn't oh there's one of them it doesn't let me oh my god steps maybe that isn't seaweed then it was like almost like a pod or a pouch on the one that <laughs> that we found what is this Shit, a crate vine goo let's go oh it's like a little cave maybe oh here yeah, look, 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 look. It's the R on there. Just not on all of them. That's annoying. Is that like RNG or is that a particular biome ecosystem bit? Does it have to be near the raft? Is that a thing? All questions we can worry about another time because now we had some seaweed. We headed straight for the research table. Uh, oh, no. Ready? Got a little bit excited there. It's actually to do with my um seven up oh wait kyle's interrupted the sponsored segment fuck off no oh, shit oh oh god no that's really annoying anyway what i was saying that um the burp was from um seven up and if you want to enjoy your very own seven up make sure you use code butchx3 at checkout for zero percent off so funny. Three, two, one. Flippers. Is that it? I mean, oh, I can learn it. I mean, I'll take the flippers, but was there not anything else that we can do with the seaweed? Slightly disappointing, yes. But we weren't to discover just how useful seaweed could be till later on in the episode. But for now, we turned our attention to circuit boards. You see, we had enough resources to craft one, and if we did craft one, we could research it. I was pretty confident it would lead to some juicy craftable items. Should we make it? YOLO. Craft. Oh. oh. Research. Here we go. This is an expensive research. Please, unlock the mysteries for me. In three. In two. In one. Oh, 
That's what receiver and antenna. I have everything I need apart from I need two more circuit boards, which means I need two more vine goose. I've got the copper ingots. Oh my god, there's so much to this game. We are literally just scratching the surface here. Anyway, should we sleep? I don't like the dark. Lay down. In order to craft the radio and antenna, we would need a couple more copper ingots for the circuit board. So we lifted the anchor and set sail once again. During the downtime between floating between islands, we built the raft out slightly, creating almost a cross shape or a Beyblade shaped raft. The idea here was to add as much surface area as possible for the perimeter so we could eventually add some more nets, but we'll get back to this later. Hours passed us by as we hooked more planks in and collected a bunch more seaweed. The wind swept us further and further into this strange world. The occasional island would emerge from the horizon to greet us, and after a while, we had everything we needed to make some proper progression. And by progression, I mean we read the description of seaweed. Can't be putting it. Smelter? To turn to goo. Seaweed goo. Place seaweed in. Yeah. And a smelter. Of all things, it's a smelter. Oh, right. And let's focus up here. We, it's good to set ourselves objectives. So, and I'm, and I'm conscious we haven't talked about objectives. And this is an incoherent mess as it stands. My uh, objective, excuse me, is to build the circuit board. The two cir circuit boards and a simple battery. Why do I need those? I hear you ask. Oh, God. Am I going to have to build a whole circuit um, battery just to research? Um, I need... What, what was it that I needed again? Where do I find it? It was in the research table. Uh, I want the, the 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 radio. Oh, oh, I've not learned it all. Here we go. Look at this. Right now, this I was like, I'm so confused. I don't know where it was. It's 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 it's. Well, we've got birds nest. It's he he there here. No, it's not the here. The receiver. That's what we need. Oh, we need two circuit boards. Sweet Jesus of Nazareth. So we need three circuit boards in total. The rest of the stuff we have no problem at all. So, and then the circuit boards, we need 26 copper ingots and six goos. Vine! It's vine goo! <clears throat> I mean, it's vine goo. <laughs> nice. I mean, I, that confuses me. Is see, I mean, is seaweed's maybe the vine of the sea. God, I miss vine. Three of the circuit boards, right? What's uh, what do we what do what do we need next? It was under this, right? So we've got the receiver. We need one hinge. Oh, for the love of God! Always at the most inconvenient times. One hinge, and then the antenna. One bolt. One hinge. One bolt, and we're done. Wait, would we need a battery to charge these? Let's find out. Right, here we go. And big moment. The receiver. Electricity. Three, two, one. Craft. The antenna. Three, two, one. Craft. Whoa. That's absolutely massive. Kind of cool, though. I'm going to put you. This thing's really annoying, isn't it? There. And then the antenna is going to go there. Honestly, I am so sixes and sevens with this game. I don't understand what's going. Batteries required. Okay, right. Nice. What do we need to build the battery? Simple battery, more copper ingots. Now, I'm going to need at least two two one we got one there am i gonna need two because do i want to research the copper ingot i've already researched it brilliant okay so no we don't need to do that i can literally just build it straight away simple battery craft <laughs> tell me that isn't the quickest you've ever seen anybody craft a single battery where does it go what is this Oh, oh my god, it has space for a battery. Wait, so we're turning on? 
And you know what I did. Antenna one. Too close to receive. Do I need three antennas? I did need three antennas. And I'm going to save you from the whinging and the moaning that occurred. Instead, something happened. Something which I honestly didn't think was possible. It was one of those moments that stick with you. Walk the rest of your life with you. I would like to warn you now, it may be prudent to sit down for this one. Oh! oh! Quadruple! That was the first quadruple we've ever had, troops. That was sublime. God, that was... I am slightly aroused. It is a good job I'm sat down. Listen, if the quadruple doesn't deserve a sub, I don't know what does. But if you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate it if you could just drop a like on the video. These take a long time to make, and it really does help the video out. You didn't click on this video to listen to a man grovel for video engagement so his channel gets more traction and he can achieve his lifelong dream of doing this full time. Oh no, no. You clicked on this video to watch a man build two more antennas and turn on a radio. One and two. Let's go. Oh, oh I don't know why I'm barking. Right, where can the antennas go? Maybe that one there. That's good. And then here. Hey! Oh my god. Look, that one's blue. That one's green. 794. Wait, what? What is this? Wait, I'm can What the fuck is ha just happened? I had a, a note, didn't I? 7914. Is that where I'm meant to go? 7914. But what does that mean? Like, hold up, right? Maybe we just go in like a direction of that and then. The thing about plans is they're absolutely pointless. You can have the best of intentions completing said plan, but something will always come up and two-foot you in the throat. And the thing which was two-footing me in the throat today was the speed of travel. Right, I'm conscious now how long... I mean, that is trickling down. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant... That's literally one a second. Hey Siri, how many minutes is 1,287 seconds? That's only 20 minutes. That's okay. Whilst I was somewhat enthusiastic about the downtime now, I wouldn't be so much later. But we decided to sharpen up the raft while we floated towards the green blip. Yeah, watch this. Right, I'm going to... Get rid of the stairs. Get rid of the stairs and instead, for space, gonna build a ladder. Much better. Look at that. Acres of more space. Acres and acres and acres of more space. I just I lose resources if I take up one of these, don't you? You don't get like the two planks and the two plastics back. There's there's genuinely nothing. No wood, no plastic, no nothing. I don't feel like I'm moving. It's, it's because I'm going against the wind, isn't it? What's to, what's to the left? Nothing. Like, is this the game punishing me? Because, as you can see, there is absolutely nothing. More time passed and not a single plant nor plastic floated my way. We couldn't see anything on the horizon. There was something eerie and unsettling about this. The progress towards the blip was painfully slow, so eventually we decided to change course. Or maybe I go to the blue one. 
Because that's blue, isn't it? That's like, hey, go here. That's different. Fuck it. Uh, not me not me wasting time again, but... Right, so is that the way that the wind's going? Kind of is, isn't it? So let's see if the number's going down. Yeah, look at that. Okay. All right, we'll change your mind. We're going, we're going the blue one. We're going the blue one, I said. To the blue one. And so we headed back in the opposite direction. This time, it felt like we were going much faster. The wind was in our sails and we were steamrolling along. That being said, from my experience, you don't go anywhere too fast in raft. Not yet, at least. Whilst we were headed in the right direction, we were headed there relatively slowly. This gives a lot of downtime to gather resources and generally potter about your raft. And if I'm being honest, these are the times I enjoy the most in the game and that is baffling to say. As someone with a relatively hefty dose of thalassophobia, I never would have expected it. Don't get me wrong, I still hate being in this ocean, but it's hard to deny the calmness of the seas as you float along on your raft hooking planks out of the water. We made good use of the time and we began to expand the footprint of the raft even further. The problem with this is that it can become borderline hypnotic. Not to worry, I thought. Simply shift the sails and we will be back on our merry way. Or so I thought. But before that, I had a secret to tell. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, okay. I I'm going to be real here. I'm going to say something that's going to shock you. Did you know? <gasps> oh, hello. Can I catch you? Did you know that sometimes YouTubers, you, you see it all in one video, but they don't. It's actually filmed over a couple of days. It has been two days since I played this game. Um, I had a very busy weekend, very exciting weekend, a very, very lovely weekend, but I completely and utterly forgot what I'm doing. Ooh. Oh, and I don't know. Wow. I'm, oh shit, I'm vulnerable. Where are the islands? The break in the game had left me feeling all kinds of vulnerable, submissive, and readable, and I didn't like it. To trick myself into thinking I was better at the game than I actually was, we added another smelter to our arsenal. I had, I had six, what? Oh, here, there we go. Eight dry bricks, fantastic, right. Craft another smelter, and then uh, I'm just going to put the other smelter. It's not very organized, this, is it? We could now smelt ore twice as fast, which was only going to help us in the long run. I was ready to get started smelting straight away until something caught my eye. And we'll put that in. <gasps> oh! What is that? Can you see that? Can you... Am I blocking? No. Look at that. What the f... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're sleep, 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 and we'll go there in the morning. Sleep. Where's my bed? Where's my bed? Where's my bed? It's, it's around here. I can't find my bed. Sleep. What is that? Where'd it go? Wait, what day are we on? What day are we on? Keep track. Keep track. 39. Oh, I'm, get, I'm so excited. I can't get up the ladder. It's there. Sweet. Is that... That's it? Two, that's got to be it. That's got to be it, right? Oh... We had laid eyes on the blue blip for the first time. This wasn't an island, but a huge chunk of metal, almost like an oil rig. Whatever it was, I knew that it would hold some juicy things for us. And it was so close. The problem was we were completely against the wind, so progress was slow. We crafted a metal spear in preparation for any nasties we might find on the structure as we slowly creeped up. But then we realized. Now we're actually drifting away because of the wind. Ah, oh, shit. Right. Paddle, paddle. We need to make a couple of paddles. We're going to paddle all the way there. So much was my determination to reach the structure. I was prepared to literally drag myself through the ocean to get there. The wind is like proper against. Oh, actually, I should put the sail down. I should put the sail down, right? That'll help us. A sensible, less resistance. Oh. Here we go. Oh. 
Okay. Forward. How long is this going to take? 300 meters of this? Is this even working? I wish you could get, like, engines. It's definitely there. Yeah, that's getting closer. It's getting closer. I'm going to double check. I really should have ladders on either side. Double check that we are getting closer. I mean, when I say we're getting closer, it's like 10 meters closer. Progress was slower than Biden at a spelling bee, and it soon became apparent that this wasn't going to be easy. So the wind, the wind must change direction randomly. Because I was going like full sending it towards this, and now the wind's going in the complete opposite way. Do I just drop my anchor and then wait and then hope that the wind comes back in my direction? Like, I genuinely think we're about to use this whole paddle for 20 meters, probably. We did use that whole paddle for 20 meters, but that still didn't deter me. So we built a new one and kept paddling. Oh my god, that's another one gone. Not me using a whole paddle. A whole ass paddle. Because my anchor was down. Oh. Overshooting. There's a thing called overshooting. And I'm not talking about sneezing while you're taking a piss standing up. We had drifted too far from the blue blip with the wind heading in the wrong direction. This meant it was basically impossible to get to. I soon learned, however, that if you were to sail 2,000 meters away from the original blue blip, a new one would appear on the radio, which would be possible for us to get to. So whilst it was an embarrassing fuck up, it wasn't going to stop us progressing. Whilst on the way to the new blip, however, something caught our eye that momentarily distracted us. Is that a plane crash? Is that a fucking plane? Hold up. That looks like, that looks like a plane. Hold the phone. A wreckage. This is the, we've only ever found like boxes and crates and shit on, on these sort of islands. All right, drop the anchor. RB 2017. Is that a code? What does that mean? Pick up pilot helmet. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Like a leather head. Can I get in there? How do I get that? Oh, I can crouch in. I'm in a plane. <sighs> I'm in a plane. How the hell did it crash like this, though? This means it would have had to have, like, come down like that or, like, pulled up at the last second. Obviously asking the really important questions there, but alas, after days and days and days of searching, we finally reached the blue blip. Gotta get close enough to it that we can just kind of hop on this and hop on that. Oh god. Oh, there's little fish. It is like an oil rig. We made it. We made it. It's that. It, oh, there's a proper ominous noise here. Here we go. <gasps> I made it. A wheelie bin. I've not seen a wheelie bin in 48 days. Alright, B1. What is this? Like an old worker facility a phone hello oh i'm really small i'm like a child's height pick up no it's been weeks. i'm talking just me an hour here now on this platform sparrow took the boat I, I can't figure out why everything is just so secret i mean i don't even know sparrow their took a boat I only know the team at Selim got a prototype working and they needed more people. We were supposed to be those people. Together we would find a way out of this mess. Somehow. I was yelling up in the tower. Maybe the radio picked up something. 
People, wait. So that was a guy called Cuckoo. Uh, somebody and somebody called Owl stuck on this platform. Somebody called Sparrow took a boat, and this guy can't figure. Uh, was his name Cuckoo? Yeah, can't figure out why. Everything's really secretive. A team at Celine. What the hell, Celine? A prototype working. A prototype of what? Needed more people. We were supposed to be the people, and together, us unnecessary capital T. We would find a way. Maybe the radio. Owl's yelling up at the tower. Am I going to find a note from Owl up at the tower? I was also really quiet at that. Well, let's keep looking then. See what else we can find. This is B2. Nothing. B3. A can I not take that? That's a free metal spear. Nope. Oh, plastic, plastic. Scrap. 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 Oh. Oh, I've got goosebumps. That gave me goose. Who's Bruce? Wait a minute. Is that the shark? So many people were commenting on my TikTok that it was called um, Bruce. Robbie, boat's gone. Bruce is after me. Gonna stay here until I find a way off this place. Mike. So we now also have a guy called Robbie, potentially a guy called Bruce, although it could be the shark, and a guy called Mike. We are not alone. Oh. His name is Bruce. We've been calling him Kyle the whole time. Okay, fine. He's now called Bruce. The, the game's told me. I got you. What the hell is going on here? Right. How? I got. I, I presume I have to get up to the tower. Ah, look at this. Oh God, are we playing only up now? You know, you gonna give me PTSD with that? A headlight. Nice. Owl's radio notes. Twenty second of December. Distress call received. Balboa Island. Ninth of January. A cool won't accept facts. What's the guy we found? Second of February. Gunshots in the distance. Gunshots. Gunshots. Fourteenth of February. Sparrows calm. Celine. 6th of March, another distress call. Varuna Point. Missing child. 16th of April. Rafters dreaming of utopia. Foolish hope. It's moving. That means it has electricity. Am I safe here? Hold up. Let's have a read of that. Let me try and get my head around that. So they've been here for at least four or five months. Gunshots, Tangora City. Sparrows come at Celine. So it's Celine and another Tango Tangara. Tangara. Another distress call. Varuna Point. Missing child. What the? F yeah, this game just got a <gasps> whole lot more complex. Wait, where would it be? No, I can't have been. I'm a level up. It's just a recycled asset. I just want to know if I'm safe or not. Am I supposed to be doing that power call? Or am I just too good at the game? Uh, February. We picked up a lot of signals. Maybe someone will come and help us. We're not starving. Yet. The reactor in Celine might be the only chance we have against this endless ocean. Genuine Sparrow. Owl thinks you betrayed us, but you must have had a good reason for leaving us here. I hope you make it to Selim. I hope you finish the reactor. Reactor? All of us. Is this post-apocalyptic? What the hell is going on? Can I kill a seagull is the real question. Oh! Oh, it went through the floor. <laughs> Oh my god! Is that a person? Oh my god. Hey, a friendly face. Wondering how I ended up here? Long story. Really, really long story. Anyway, nice raft. 
If you need any repairs done, let me know. I've sort of ended up as a maritime expert, mainly due to the world sinking. Awesome. The world. Let's head out. New. New playable. Oh shit, I'm hungry. Hey, a friendly face. Wondering how I ended up here? Long story. I'm thirsty as well. Really, really long story. Oops. Anyway, oh. nice wrap. If you need any repairs done. Oh, not now. Re recycler. Pick up note. What was the note? New new note added. People seven eight. Oh, we got another one. Okay, fuck. I, I want to hang about. So, the, the, she acted kind of weird, considering she's maybe not seen anybody for God knows how long. And now I've got another playable character. Does that mean like a skin? Or am I gonna have a friend? I have no uh, drink, so we need to uh, we need to go down. God damn it! An actual person. Yeah, she was like, I might be the first person she's seen in like four or five months. And, and then she's like, oh, hey, I bet you're wondering how I got here. It's a really, really long story. Do you know, if I hadn't seen somebody in uh, four or five months stranding at sea thinking that I'm going to die out here alone. Do you want to know what my first reaction would be? Maybe they couldn't afford a quality actor like me. God's sake. I swear on my life, I better have the speed to jump onto the boat. I oh, know we're good. We're good, right? Come on. Drink up. Oh, no. I'm going to lose that 100%. I'm going to lose that 100%. I lost it. There's fucking eight rope down the drain. Right, let's sleep. Sleep, just just sleep on everything that just happened. We met a human. I was genuinely not expecting it. Ge I'd, I'd seen like the the wallpapers and, and and like screenshots of the game on the Steam, uh, on the Steam like uh, store. But I always presumed that that was just from like multiplayer. But no, there's there's actually other people in the game. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you reckon we got everything? Is that the floor? If I see the if I can see the floor, I might be brave and go for a little dip. Guys, we're on day 49, by the way. 49. Where's the thing gone? There we go. Proof. And look, look. Actually, yeah, look. We 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 did a couple of things, right? What's this? Useful when exploring dark places, so we can now have that. And we now have a recycler. So recycler basic resources into trading post currency. So we've now un oh my god, yes. And we, we we were able to get all of those things. Yes, we, we do need more copper though. Wait a minute. So if I understand this correctly, if I watch this, I change a number here and that blue thing's gonna go. I'm right. So if we add in people at seven eight five one. Seven, eight, five. Next target: one thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight people to a place called Vas Vazagatan. 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 Yeah, Vazagatan. That's oh shit. Turn it off. We spent the rest of day 49 trying to process the information we had gathered from the radio tower, as well as discover some boxes hidden underneath the water. All in all, it was a pretty successful day. <sighs> okay, we're good. Okay. Ah! No, we're not good. No, we're not good. No, we're not good. No, we're not good. Oh, my fingers. My fingers are fizzing. Fuck, get me out of here. Away. 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 Get me away. Oh. Hey, look, for the first time, we have a full storage box of something. 
2020 2020 thus came a new day a new dawn and a new blip to explore and we didn't waste any time at all in setting sail Ooh. not a fan of the dark let's sleep it away sleep it away take it away ernie it's gonna be a bumpy ride Let me tell you right now, there is nothing, nothing better. And I, I think I genuinely mean this. Maybe if you're watching this video, you'll agree with me because some of the people that I know in real life would be like, Butch, this is so sad of you. There's nothing better in life than when it's early morning like it is for me now. And I have the whole day ahead of me to play video games. And I've just cracked open a cold carbonated beverage and I can just sit here in this chair in my little room that I've made for me and just play video games I am absolutely at my happiest doing exactly this this is it I mean I also like obviously I like spending time with my fiance and everything but this is like these downtimes between traveling from blip to blip allowed me time for two things. Number one, hooking things out of the ocean to stockpile resources. And number two, reflection of my current raft. You might look at this and think it's, oh, oh my God, it's not symmetrical, which you'd be correct. And it is relatively basic, which you'd probably also be correct. But the thing is, it is mine and I love it. But we will be adding a little bit more TLC at some point where we can do all of these things. It's just to the point now, I don't, I, I, it would annoy me personally. I don't know about you in games. Maybe you guys are more worried about like your actual base and how it looks. But I'm so worried I'd use like all of my, um, like all of the resources to build like a rocking chair. And then I need those exact resources to build a laser gun, which I can complete the game with. Like, do you get where I'm coming from? I don't know about you, but if I ever found a laser gun in this game, I would be at full mast and raring to go. But laser guns aside, we continued our journey to the blue blip, slowly but surely letting the wind carry us closer as we potted about collecting planks. I don't know exactly what I was expecting at the blue blip, but it certainly wasn't this. <gasps> That's a fucking ship! Hold the phone! Is it? No. Oh, I'm going the wrong way though. I'm very much going the wrong way. Here. No, that looks like a cruise ship. A battleship like what what there's a massive wait can i take that instead can i fix that a cruise ship was more than enough to abandon whatever it was i was doing and head straight towards furiously paddling our way closer we pulled up to the bow of the ship please tell me i can get in this it would be so disappointing if i couldn't get in it all right Time for a bit of parkour. That's carbon fiber. I don't see anything moving. Nothing alive. A helipad. Oh, please let there be helicopters. Please. This is an actual cruise ship. I don't see any animals. Door is locked from the other side. Shit, can I smash the glass? No. What is that? Looks like some sort of, I don't know, turbine? I don't know if that's, if that's what a turbine looks like. Should I jump down? I hope we can get back up. Oh, look, there's another one. Mechanical part. I didn't... Where's it gone? Is it like a different kind of item? Confused.com. Oh, oh, fuck. I don't feel like I should have done that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The corridors were dark. The air damp. 
and my sphincter was twitching. Enter a new dimension of creepiness. This is creepy. This is an engine room. I think. Is this what cruise ship engines look like? Am I alone in here? I really, really, really hope I'm alone. A note. I heard from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. You knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? What the fuck is that noise? Something is living on the other side of there. Oh, I wish I, I wish I made more arrows. A, rec a recorder. Wait, what? Where are these items? I don't see them anywhere. And it requires one crowbar. I didn't think I had one. We were no longer alone. Something else was here. Something raspy and scuttly. He's behind here, whatever it is. Fuck. Okay. What could that be? He sounds like a dog. Three, two, one. What the fuck is that? <gasps> hey, he can jump through the fucking door. God. No, it's a rat! It, it, it's a... It's a... Lurker! A lurker. And no, we aren't talking about your creepy uncle at a family barbecue with a paddling pool. This was a mutant rat. What in God's name is going on? The less we thought about the rat, the better. Looking around, we could see a cabinet which needed bolt cutters to access. We would have to keep an eye out for these. Moving on down the corridor, we discovered a door which needed a blue key to access. Not having one, we pushed on and found a red key, as well as a kitchen which contained another note. Ruben, oh. the yacht is ill-prepared for this journey. We'll have left space for a dance floor, but no space for supplies. The bottles sure found their way to the bar. As a military man, I thought Olaf would at the very least be practical. Yet they're all treating it mm. like a luxury cruise. I'm sorry, Ruben. I shouldn't have left. I mean, rum is... Uh, if there was going to end, why not do it drunk? I don't... It doesn't go into your inventory. I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to drink that. So, oh my god, it's extended my hunger. Requires... What? Electrical bullet. Electrical wires, lighter, gas tank, and a bullet. I don't know where all... Requires five mechanic. I'm so confused. What the hell is going on? So they, they must be like a separate thing. Inventory for those, perhaps. I've, I've found the gas tank. I don't have electrical wires, lighter, or a bullet. I have two electrical parts so maybe if we find three more throughout the ship we'll uh, be able to come back here and make something uh, i need to find a blue key as well there's there's another door which is the blue key is this no it's not uh one of these this is a labyrinth okay maybe if we come oh the ball cutter yeah 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 The blue key and a note. Captain keeps complaining about my route. So quiet. If he does it again, he will be reprimanded. The crew doesn't listen to orders. I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow they believe rank and prestige disappeared with solid land. No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests, and they will certainly not be allowed further rations. They should be grateful. 
I am the only reason they are alive. Olaf is uh, pretty pissed. As we climbed up the stairs, we could hear more rats scuttling about above us. We had to keep our wits about us. It sounds like one's right in front of me. Do I? Uh, hold up, hold up. I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to go back and I'm going to drink. And then, like, drop off the stuff that I've got and then we're going to come back, okay? No, I'm not running away. Don't you think for a second I am running away. Pulling the elite tactical warfare maneuver of the life preservation retreat to regroup and reattempt at a level of homeostasis far more probable to result in success, we returned with a belly full of food and drink. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I thought this was glass. <laughs> that's the, that's why I was like, oh, mechanical, I can feckin' walk in here. Sweet Jesus. Right, do this after, though. Oh, okay. Oh! <gasps> Bullet. As I've suspected, the crew is completely incompetent. Now they're claiming rats have eaten half of our supplies in a matter of weeks. <laughs> I promised them increased rations if they could bring me one of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for termination. Mutiny. Mutiny. This would make an interesting movie, would it not? Also, I hate how dark it gets when you actually walk in places. We continued to explore the ship, ensuring that we took it slow and steady so we didn't miss anything crucial. There's going to be a lurker in one of these rooms, isn't there? Um, question, why on earth would you have a shower curtain when there's no shower and just a bath? Shocking. They call this a luxury yacht. Pick up no. What does that mean? You can't just fire them. We're out at sea. Hanna, you were brought to keep the engines running. That is what you. That's one of those damn rats. What? What are you doing to it? Get out! What are you doing Do to your it? job. What? Is he doing something to the rats? Oh, they're safe. Do I need a code? Oh, God. Oh. All right. Got me a little. This budget Olaf geezer appeared to be some sort of madman and bred these rats. This cruise ship was holding some dark secrets. With further exploration, we found the code for the safe along with another note. Nice. Oh, no. These lurkers have potential. They were clearly once rats, now grown into something much more rabid. Rabbit. Yet also smarter. I've already made progress on their training. With food and pain as incentives, I can discipline them. And by sharing their blood, the mutations increase. I wonder if another species would react the same. He's... I've received a transmission from a place called Caravan Town, not far from here. They have an active animal population. No longer do I need this makeshift crew. I will create true soldiers. Loyal soldiers. My guy is trying to make a crew with rats. Okay, they just, like, respawn all the time then. Well, it's just a free supply of meat as far as I'm concerned. Bitch. This Olaf guy is a um, bit of a psychopath. Right. Enter the code. Oh, electrical wires and another note. There's mist now. We don't know how far the water's risen. The maps are useless. We need to... The crew are planning a mutiny, Captain. It is time to act. Mutiny. They're just trying to stay alive. I... Aren't you mad? I gave you a chance to live. Now we have to protect ourselves from the masses. We will use the lurkers to our advantage. Psychopath. 
And after we opened the door, which required a green key to use, we heard the crew's last moments. Oh, a note. Well, that... Oh. Uh, I just think we listened and witnessed the end of the crew. So they crashed on this and the lurkers conveniently jumped out. I wonder if this Olaf guy is still alive. Not wanting to dwell on the depressing thought too much, we discovered a door which needed a bomb to open. Then we put two and two together. We could use the items we had been finding to craft a bomb. So... We headed back down to the lower deck to use the bench we found earlier and crafted a boom boom device with the items and a car jack with the mechanical parts. Oh, here, 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 here. Oh, I made that. Nice. The hell's this? A crate? And another Cities note. Cities in the blue, calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least. Despite vocal opposition, the Floating Cities project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon. According to former General Olaf Wilkstrom's latest statement on the issue, we are fully aware of the strain this puts on our people. Nevertheless, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must pull through this together or join Stockholm beneath the waves. Wilkstrom refused to comment on the rumors regarding the modification of his personal yacht. When further asked about the Floating City Project's whistleblowers, Olaf Wilstrom chose to terminate the interview. Reaching out to these anonymous sources, we were able to further corroborate his story. Holy hell, so Olaf was oh, Olaf. Olaf was in the military. And it seems to me that the world sank uh relatively like slowly. So Stockholm, Sweden was under then. They were trying to make uh, I'm, I'm all kind of confused. I'm not confused. I'm just like, I want to know more. Anyway, we've got the bomb. Maybe we'll... Oh! 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 Whoa. Can I, can I drive it? A steering wheel! Engine. Bal Balboa. What? Balboa Island. Is that a new? Oh, that's a new blip code that we can go to. Holy hell! Wait, so we get wait. So you can build engines. I was hoping you could build engines, but I didn't know whether you could actually build build engines. But you can. Oh, recipe barbecue. Uh, we just eat, get rid of, oh, what the hell is this? Biofuel. We had successfully explored the cruise ship. Now, I should feel good about it, but it's hard to feel good when you've just spent an hour battling mutant rats and listening to the deranged voice notes of a mad military scientist. But nonetheless, it was time to enjoy the fruits of our labor and craft the engine. Yes! Oh, forward and backwards. What does that mean? Oh, for God's sake. Always at the most inconvenient times, you little shit. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, nice. Okay, I was worried that it was going to use like a ton of like weird fuel. Right, we need to build the steering wheel now. So, 10 scrap, 4 rope, 2 metal ingots. Uh, no. To hinge and bolts, hinge and bolts. Hinge bolts, scrap. Craft? Does this have to be linked? Oh. Yes. I'll uh I'll put it up here, shall I? So that I feel like it should go. Oh, oh I can proper turn and 
Oh. I like this game. Oh. Oh. The engine's on. Lift the anchor. Ah, look at us chugging away. It works. Oh. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> right, remind me not to do that again. This was by far the most useful thing we had discovered. We no longer had to rely on wind direction to dictate places we could go, and wherever we went, we would get there faster. We shuffled the raft around a little bit, extending the top tier platform and bringing the radio and antennas next to the steering wheel. This made navigation much easier for us, and honestly, I felt like a pirate. Sailing the seas with my trusty raft, adventure on the horizon as we chugged into the unknown. The next few days were rather successful. We discovered another large island which we anchored up at. Here, we spent a bunch of time collecting resources like copper and metal ingots, prepping food, and even crafting a recycler. This meant we could now crush raw resources into trash cubes. These trash cubes could then be spent at the shop shacks on the island, and we ended up getting some fishing baits. This bait meant we could catch higher tier fish, which we could then sell back to the shack shop for coins. A wonderful little economy loop. But if talking about the economy bores you, fear not, as I finally killed a bird. Thought oh, I could hear you. <gasps> yes! Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, don't go there, don't go there. We got it. This little shit. Four feather, three feather, five feather, two raw drumsticks, two raw drumsticks, a screech head, and some stone arrows. We did it. Screech head. Should we try this on? Oh, God. Wait, which button is it? <laughs> ah, see, that's, that's quite trendy, that. But it annoys me because, like, that. That bugs me. Once we had plundered the bird's corpse, we set sail to our new destination. And if you thought that the creepiness and the epicness of the cruise ship adventure was ending, it's only just beginning. That is a big chunk of land. Is it, that's not my blip, is it? Actually, it could well be. No, 400 meters, no. Maybe, unless, it's, unless it's an absolutely huge island. We were about to find out just how huge this island actually was. We slowly chugged into the bay and immediately noticed the man-made structures. There's like fences and things. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Turn it off. Drop the anchor. Holy hell. Without wasting any time, we immediately set about exploring. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Let's do it. Let. Ooh, barrels. Can I hit the barrels? No. This is absolutely massive, and there's some sort of. Ooh! A wheelbarrow. Fence. Warning. Balboa Nature Reserve communication with their head. No loitering, no littering, no cameras with flash, no smoke or, or drinking, no unauthorized, unauthorized vehicles. Violators will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Listen, I don't think there is much law left around here. Oh, God. Please don't let there be bears. Do you reckon that's a sign that somebody's barking orders at somebody? Or do you reckon there's actual bears? A question I'm sure will be answered soon enough. Climbing to the top of this hill, we were greeted by a signpost. Oh, what? Are they? 
Oh my god, I'm going to get so lost. Relay station, two, four. Well, it makes sense to go that one, then two, then four, then six. Maybe. Oh, ranger station, and then relay. Let's go to the ranger station first, then the relay station. Oh! Oh! Massive tower. Oh, ranger station this way. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna check it all out. I wanna check the ranger station first. Oh, no 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 this is bad. This is very bad. Very bad. Very, 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 very bad. I'm getting PTSD of the long dark. Come on, come on. It sort of stuns him. Do you reckon this gives me wool? Probably not, right? There's actual bears. Oh, yes! We killed a bear first, first time. Oh, what did we get? Bear head and four leather. Well, it's customary to check the bear head. Doesn't impede my view. Nice. I still got my flippers on. Fresh off our first bear kill, it wasn't long until we started to discover the mysteries of the island. Ooh. Hen. Henry's stuff. That's a propeller. Who's Henry? Oh, oh my lord. Is that the ranger station? Oh. What the f... What the f... What? Oh no. I know exactly where this is going. Shit. Okay, everybody calm down. Just relax. I was made for parkour. I was made for parkour. It's made for it, okay? Oh, they sink. Oh my god, there's no going back. Oh no, there is going back. That's good. Ranger station. Get the bow out in case there's bears. I want to check the house out first. If you lived here, your house... <gasps> is that... Is that someone or a scarecrow? It's a scarecrow, I think. Requires one light bulb. If you live till your house is gone. I don't know. It looks like it's still here to me. Whoa. We've got a tool. Requires one bronze wench. Bronze hammer. And bronze. Is that going to be a secret room or something? Biofuel refiner. Oh, nice. What's that? It looks like you put dirt in that or something and then get biofuel. A note. Oh, do I not get any voices? Oh. Schedule. Was this the note that I got? Balboa Island, I'm guessing. That's the name of the place that I am. Ranger. Oh, this is the relay station. Oh, so that was the ranger station we've just been. Station 2. Oh, we do not want to fall from here. Let's maybe not sprint. Oh. <gasps> oh, calm down. Slow. 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 TV. No way. One of these. One out of three relay stations active. It still has electricity. My sister Astrid and I were put in charge of the ranger station on Balboa. We handled the bear population and kept the relay towers operational. The next shift was meant to start weeks back. But the replacements never showed up. Uh, 
Henry suggested that I start writing things down after Astrid disappeared, so that I'm not feeling so lonely anymore. Bruno. Poor guy. Can I get on the roof? There's no way for me to... I feel like I should be able to make that. I can't. Oh well, right, okay. So, just turning that one on, but there was no tools. I was hoping there would be tools. Maybe we find them elsewhere? The thing about elsewhere is it's not here. So we left here to go elsewhere, and elsewhere led us to a collection of wild berries, which we eagerly gathered. It wasn't long until we got into eight, another fight with a bear, but because I'm a god at video games, I dispatched it with no problem. Then we stumbled across something unusual. Four and six, here we go, we're back here. What's this? It's like a locker out in the middle of nowhere. Wait, it's a little shelter. Shh, bear stash. Oh, the saw. Bobby's maze. Oh my god, that's definitely a kid, isn't it? Oh no. Right, I'm not wasting arrows on you because I don't get anything if I kill you. Right, relay station six is that way and four is this way. Let's go for four. Oh, 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 oh. What the? How the hell am I supposed to get? There. There's no way I make that jump. There's no way I make that jump, right? No, 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 not risking that. No way. Is there maybe a way along the back of it? Hold on, let me go to six. And we'll deal with that another time. Is that six there? Oh, there's a cave. Vines in the way. Can I cut it with a... Oh, so an axe isn't what I'm going to have to use a machete. Fuck. I, Rosa, is mostly right. Except when Diana says, otherwise, Lydia... What the... What the fuck is going on? This was all very confusing, but my stomach wouldn't allow me a second to process this, as we had to make our way back to the raft to avoid dying from hunger. Upon returning, we cooked a plethora of bear steaks to keep us content for a while. Confidence was high, so we set back out to the island and stumbled across another bear, except this time it wouldn't die. That bear's so chilling. It's sleeping, watch this. What the hell? Oh. We shot the bear over and over again, but nothing seemed to happen. Let's go poke it with a stick. Why, why are you, why are you sat like that? You okay? <gasps> Shite bag. Wait, this is a big one, right? Is this a big one or am I mess messing this up? Am I crouched? <gasps> I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. Is it dead? Is this like an invincible bear? I'm not supposed to be able to kill. No, I'm wasting my bullets here. That's bullshit. What bullshit game? That's an invincible bear. Let me guess, you need a special kind of weapon. And now I only have eight, eight thingies, eight arrows. Not ideal at all. We had wasted nearly half of our arrows on that bear and been a pixel away from death. Angrily, we turned away to explore more of the island. We managed to collect ourselves some honeycomb before finding a series of notes thrown on the ground. Oh my god, a note. Betrayal. Father trusts the murderers. What? He would leave us behind. <laughs> we can't have that. Is Bruno okay? Another note. What in God's name is... Father has to make a decision. I know it won't be me, 
so I will be spared. Not enough boat for all of us. I am sorry, Errol. Whoa, this is creepy. The guilty lay restless. We must be punished if we are to rest. I like... What? Did the kid kill people? I'm confused. Well, at least we have the light bulb now for for the the shack, but uh, I can't say I feel good about it. A little kid. I got a steam achievement in that saying it's so obvious now. A little murderer or something like that. I can't remember. I got a short memory. Oh, shit. It was at this point we figured out how to get past the bear. All we needed to do was place the berries that we had found on the island in this bucket and it would distract the bear for long enough for us to sneak into the cave. Here we found an extremely conveniently placed machete blueprint so we yeeted straight back to the raft, crafted it and returned to the cave with the vines. They're here, okay. Where's the ranger station set? Unless it, no, it can't be through here. Here we go. Oh. Nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. It is dark. Oh, I should have brought my shovel. This could be all treasure. Oh. oh, a note. Papa made his mind up a long time ago. He's going after Auntie. Miranda is following, as always. It is here. Miranda. It sounded pretty ominous going after Auntie. That could mean two things. Let's not be presumptuous. It could mean going after her to save. Or going after to um, kill or maim or kidnap. Oh, another note. I haven't seen Errol all night. I asked Miranda, but she and Henry won't tell me anything. Henry's the oh, kid. They're I'm hiding something. Did they figure out there's only space for two of them on the boat? I've decided. I leave the triplets in charge of the remaining relay stations. Bobby will take care of the bears. Yes. It's for the best. So many memories of this place. We'll find you, sis. I promise. I'm starting to think Bruno isn't maybe all there. Oh! The Hugh Bruno. Oh, let's be careful here. Like I said, let's not be presumptuous and presume that this is safe. This radio... Did he put the radioactive waste down? Oh, Johnny! Buddy! Uh, yeah, could you be an angel and help me out a bit? Uh, I know you big What do you guy. need? What do you need? Oh, man. I would have been a goner without you. Nice tan line. <laughs> Tip for future me. Bears are not cuddly. Say, you wouldn't be a rafter, would you? If you need some muscle on board, look no further. All right, yeah. Leave the heavy lifting to me. New playable character, Johnny. Wait, I can't use them, though, can I? They just kind of disappear. Fuel tank? Right, there we go. Relay station, two out of three. So this one's six, so it's just four that we need now. Okay, so that was J John... Ah, the wrench. Yes. Okay, so the last relay station must have the final thing, which was the hammer. There's a crate up there, look. Again, Johnny's reaction is a little bit odd, considering I've saved his life. Hey, buddy. Bears aren't cuddly. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. So the bears aren't the sort of animal that you would mistake for being friendly, but are actually quite vicious. Like, a bear outright is pretty dangerous. 
like koalas for an example you could look at a koala and think oh look good it is so cute and then it could probably maul you to death as well i've never held a koala i'd like to but i've never i've never even seen a koala we had been making some quality progress today on the island did you get it slid that one in there koala quality tough crowd anyway we had one more radio tower to visit so we returned back to the cliff edge to see if we could figure out how the heck we could get to it here that's the last one There is no way I make that. Unless, can I shoot that? Oh! Oh! On my life, I was not expecting that to work. Why would that work? Why would that mean that that would happen? I don't care. We've done it. Nearly got crushed in the meantime. Number four. Quattro. Station Quattro. I kind of feel like these have like um Borderlands kind of art style. Very cartoony, the planks of wood. Alright, any humans in here? And we've seen one of them. I saw one of them on the cabin ships. Wait, does that mean someone came here from the cabin? Ready? Three, two. Oh, what's that? New note. Is that where the bear is? That's number four. Number two, number six. Okay, well, that would have been good to have earlier. One, nine, one, seven, the next one. Oh, no. Uh, the kids are fighting. Oh, Hastrid would have known how to make them stop. I, I found her wrench out by the clearing. I've been calling out on the radio. Please, I just want to talk, sis. Miranda is screaming outside. I hope her and Henry make up soon. H Henry and Miranda? But we met a guy called Johnny. Oh, boy. Oh, look. They're kind of spooky. The final tower had been activated and the new code given for the next location. We had come a long way from the early days of Raft. But before we left this island, we had to revisit the ranger cabin to replace the remaining tools on the wall. All right, time to figure out what the, this mystery of the tools was. Well, I think it's going to be a secret entrance. Unless it's just an achievement in which it has actually no kind of meaning to the game. But right, let's do it. Hammer, wrench. Could we not have pulled that off? Note. Find all notes in Balboa, so we've done it all. Well, what was that? Merry Christmas from nowhere. The Korea twins. Well, that would be them. Are they sitting on top of something? Uh, okay. Well, there you go. We we did a thing. Make them work. Hidden labor camps protocols exposed. Terraforming. The title of this newspaper takes up about a third of the real estate. That needs to be much lower. The Daily Global needs to be like smaller. The truth can be a similar size, but up. We know it's out there. I know, maybe call it like DGT or something. That's better. Look at that. My eye is immediately drawn to there. The big summit sea rack. The big rat sea race. Once I was done Floating bemoaning and berating the graphic design of a fictional newspaper with absolutely no experience or qualifications in it myself, I returned back to our raft. Here, we punched in the new code and set off on our merry way. About halfway to the new blip, something surprised me. There is something, um... Well, I thought that looked deserty for a second with like cactus, cacti, cactuses on them. Uh, but there is something incredibly satisfying about like dry. I still don't quite understand whether you drive or sail a boat. Like I get if you sail a boat with a sail, but do you just still, do you still sail a boat if it's powered by like engines and shit? Or do you then drive it? I'm not, I don't know. Is that? No, it's not cactuses. 
I think so. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love sailing slash driving. That is cactuses. What the? F is that a pig? Is it different biomes? Oh, shit. Oh, it's changing. All right. Okay. Oh, like a glove. Wait, no, it just tapped it. How do we get on there? All right. Hard turn right. That wasn't too much of a hard turn, but getting close. Drop the anchor. Ah, there we go. Okay, no, we should be fine. Right, let's go have a look at this. Oh, it is. It's a different biome. Look, it's all sandy and deserty. No way. Hello. The chicken's still here. Oh, we got some more bees here. Please don't sting me. Please don't sting me. Whoa. Damn it. No. Mango. Lovely. Oh, love the mango. I love the mango. Every... Oh, my days. Look at this. Hello. There's definitely something walking about here, right? Ah, you are an ugly little pig. Come here, piggy. Well, you, well, you don't give me wool. I don't know what you'd give me. Shit, my bow's nearly dead. Hold to pick up. <laughs> we killed the pig. Just leather. The same as a bear. God damn it. Right. Okay. Well, we must get something else. And there's, there's pigs in the game. Ooh, watermelons. Yep, because watermelons could absolutely grow in the desert. I don't know, actually. I'm not a bit botanical expert by any means. Is that a zip line? Oh, you can have a zip line tool. Ooh, how big can you build your raft? Wait, is there a way I can get up here or not? No, I, I don't even know where to begin with a zip line tool. So I actually can't get up there. Wait, no, no, I can't. Well, where the hell do I find a blueprint for a zip line tool? Alas, progress blocked by yet another blueprint. Call me Blueprint Butcher at this point. We left the island to carry on my journey to the next blip. Whilst out in the seas, I utilized this time as effectively as I could to focus on gathering resources. Here I decided to go a bit YOLO with my hammer and some planks of wood. Parallel to the perimeter of the raft, we built an encapsulating raised platform surrounding the entire raft. Eventually, we would fill this out to become an entire floor, but for now, I just thought it was cool to be able to have some more verticality to the base. When the world has flooded, and what was once land is now an abyss of water, there are certain things you expect to find and things you do not expect to find. What we discover later is definitely something I was never expecting to see. But we will get to that. Oh. This is another big in. Look at the size of it. Let me drift around here. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no foreplay today. We're starting off with the banger straight away. By the way, if I look really tired, it's because I am. It's really it's really early in the morning for me, but I've got to, <laughs> if I want to get this done, I've got to do it. Oh my God. Right, hold up. Stop the engine. 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 Uh, put that down. We had stumbled across a caravan town. This was a new biome, and new biomes usually mean new things. I was ready and frothing to give this lump of rock an explore. This is some sort of caravan trailer park, I think. Oh, um, beans, rice. Wait, can I not cut these open? Oh, I can't cut them open. A bag of food and I can't cut, oh shit. I can't cut them open. This place was abandoned and by the looks of it had been for a long time. However, in each of the caravans, there was loot and supplies for me to gather. Whilst the occupiers had long since gone, this land was still providing. It wasn't all easy though. This place was a maze of caravans and it was easy to get lost. 
We did, however, manage to stumble across our first note. Can we get on the roof here? Ugh. A note. There's a stranger in town called Olaf something. No kids allowed. But at night, I got Sanjay to help me sneak onto the stranger's ship. I thought maybe he had some medicine for Ma, but Olaf's boat was just filled with cages. And the cages were big rats and a very large hyena. They were so angry. Sanjay found notes talking about feeding and training them into his personal army. Oh my Sanjay god. Thinks Olaf might be a bad guy. I think I agree. I agree. Olaf was a bad guy. So Olaf was here with this ship before. I'm guessing. Mm. No, yeah, before before it crashed, obviously. Olaf's fingers are everywhere. Olaf. No. I'm going to avenge you for all that you've done. That was my best Geralt of Rivia. Hmm. Jesus Christ, why can't I hit this thing? It's fine. Early in the morning. Oh, <gasps> llama. What is that? Do I just spend 10 minutes killing this bird? Requires one explosive powder. Hold up, there's a note here, but I don't know about you, or if it's just me, or if it's a glitch or whatever, but the, the note, the voiceovers for the notes are so quiet. I can't hear them. So I don't like to do anything when I'm doing the voice note. Oh, God. Oh, come on. That didn't hit me, did it? Fuck it. Get it now. Quick. Get it. Get it. That those experiment journal, attempt 733. Pa helped me weld the rocket together, and Sanjay borrowed some fireworks to get it started. Rocket. Pa had to apologize to everyone for the explosion. I don't get it. It was just a test. What an overreaction. It would have taken my tools if Sanjay hadn't helped me put out the fire. Ah, good helper, Sanjay. Okay. Explosive powder. Now, I know how to get explosive powder. Okay, because I did it last episode. <clears throat> I wasn't in the video, though, because I couldn't fit it in. You shoot puffer fishes, and they give you explosive goo, which you then put in the... <gasps> oh! Dead. You were way easier. Are they all headshots? Did I do all headshots? Did I do all headshots? All right, we get a bunch of feathers and some chicken... And a white screech ahead. Ooh, ooh, baby. Huh, my character's changed. All of my settings reset before this. I came in and my FOV was at 50. My FPS was stuck at 60. Everything was on low quality. Now, I'm a one. I didn't think that my grunts and screams were of a different tonage. This place was relatively good. It was sunny here. There was plenty of loot. Hell, there was even a rocket ship. But it wasn't all happy. In fact, there was a place that was particularly sad. Junji, you drifted close to us from afar. I wish we'd let you in sooner. Ariel, we were harder on you, that you than you deserved. Sorry. Alia, I held along as long as I could. Please forgive Dinny, please wait for me. The boy Hillman fought like a man. He could not... Oh! The hooks. No. No, these are hooks of people that have died. You never even gave us your name, but you helped us greatly. May we see you up ahead. Dad's hook. Please take care of it. Wow, I'm getting weirdly emotional. That's really sad. There's a pig there. There's two pigs there. Alright, what's this then? Like paper mache. Speech to the rafters, the 17th of May. Oh, no. Fifth draft. Why do you... <clears throat> why do you think I, Olof Wilkström, left that corrupt city? Because they refused to let regular working class folk on board. I was appalled. 
Why should the elite get to escape the apocalypse? They should be forced to share their luxury. Who should force them? That's right! The greatest rafters in this new southern sea! You! Take Tangaroa! Take back your future! Is this a war table? These look like rafts, no? And th that's what you'd use to push things around to demonstrate strategic strat strat Whoa. Am I okay? Strategies. We spent the next couple of days searching this caravan town from top to bottom. We found more notes from Detto. It turned out he was quite the inventor. Think the Da Vinci of this world. We also found some battery chargers and zipline parts. It wasn't easy though, and it took us some time. Remember that rocket we found? We slapped some explosive powder, which we made by smelting the explosive goo from a puffer fish, because of course, and it blasted off out into space and exploded, and a zipline part, as well as a little doll called Major Tom, descended from the wreckage. For another part, we had to swim down to an ungodly depth deep into the ocean, the wappiest of experiences. But before you knew it, we had all of the parts needed to craft the device to allow us to traverse the various zip lines and reach the previously unreachable. Oh! No, 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 that way. Oh, oh I actually have to control it. Oh, fair. Okay, I didn't use a huge amount, so... Oh my god, there's three pigs. Four pigs. They look diseased. Are they diseased? They mentioned something about... Um, was it was it Dotto that said... That somebody told him to keep away from the pigs, and that's how his mother got ill? Ah, oh, rotten bacon. I don't know if I want to go near the pigs. This is actual swine flu. All oh, right, the rotten, diseased pigs. I did... Oh, I think the other one was just dead for too long and despawned. I'm not going to get a disease for picking them up, am I? Oh, the infirmary's here. Oh, nice. Pills. Healing salve. No way. The key. It's been three days, stuck in the shack, sick as a dog. I don't think I can treat anyone in my condition, and these people know it. I asked them to leave me here. It's the pigs. For weeks they've acted erratic. I've been blind to it. I didn't even notice the butchers getting sick. It all started when Olaf Wilkstrom arrived, and I do not see it as a coincidence. He infected the... Olaf fucked a pig. Infected it. I am sure that is exactly what happened. But we had one more place to visit. The mayor's house. Here, we were hoping to find another clue to lead us to a new location. Jump. Beautiful. Is that a bo Is that a bomb? No, well, that's a boy. It Whoa. This is cool. Yes. Fuck the bear hat. <laughs> I am the captain now. More importantly, where is that not a note? No. Oh. Research the battery charger. Oh, that's going to be life changing. And this is the chest. Pick up the blueprint. Engine controls. Oh. Does this mean that we're halfway through the game? Is there like space for all of them? But Tangora. We had plundered and pillaged the caravan town for all that she had. We had also discovered that Olaf was here and had caused havoc on the island, introducing a disease. Deet was an engineering prodigy who had potentially left the island with the remaining survivors. Who knows? But what I do know is that our next destination was a place called Tangaroa. So we punched in the code and set sail. Let me tell you, I was not expecting it. Not at all. 
This game was about oceans and islands, or so I thought. Just when I thought I was having a grasp on the game, I laid eyes on Tangaroa for the first time. Oh, oh, what, 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 fucking Bruce, man. What the fuck is that? Is it? It's a dog. <gasps> it's um the the thing the thing ah words fuck the the thing on the table that we thought was paper ma paper mache originally on the caravan town the the dome thing with the thing on the top. Oh my god! It's absolutely huge. It's absolutely huge. Are they mountains? Is it like domed mountains? Maybe some like uh, the, the rich people that that from old earth is like they all went here because they had loads of money and technology. They found like a mountainous region and just put a massive dome over it to make their own ecosystem and protect it from floods. I don't know. Kind of looks like city though. They're fucking s no. Calm down. They are. They're skyscrapers. They're buildings. What? This game, man. This game, indeed. We drifted closer to the dome and discovered, indeed, it was a city. Tall skyscrapers filled the dome. On the perimeter of the dome, there appeared to be doors, but with no way to open them. We circled the outside until we found an entrance. Oh, oh no, that's deep. Oh. I would have liked to have got a little bit closer. Oh, it's floating. Three, two. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. I really hope this lets me in. Use. What the fuck? Oh no. Cockroaches, things are rotten. Plantation elevator, surface access, storage area, right. Let's go this way first. Wait, maybe people aren't here. Look, this is all rotted and and old and forgotten. That doesn't lead to the ocean, right? <gasps> no, okay. Oh, I just had <laughs> visions. <laughs> it's just dropping into the abyss there. Oh no. Olaf's here. These are fucking lurkers. 100% they're lurkers. Wait, they're big lurkers. Are they? They're, no, they are lurkers. It was clear that these tunnels were long abandoned, aside from the occasional lurker. We kept moving through the corridors until we came across an abandoned cafeteria. It's an old cafeteria. The plants are still up. I mean, that one isn't. But these plants look like they're still fighting. So does that mean that this has all been relatively recently? I don't want to miss anything here. Oh, this is going Oh, this is about Olaf. Captain Tully ordered us to push the engines to their limits. We're trying to outrun a fleet of rafts or something. It's going to overheat the reactor. I sent a message up the tower. Tully doesn't care. I hope you're faring better, Hanna. Much better. That. These are definitely bigger ones, these ones. Um, that sounds to me like they were trying to outrun Olaf or something. They were coming after the city. That's what I'm guessing would have happened. 
So they fucked this place up by overheating the reactors, trying to get away from the rafts. If it was Olaf that was chasing this place down in the rafts, his dirty fingerprints appeared to be the downfall of another settlement. We ended up finding some generator parts which we presumed we would use to fix a generator. As we continued our blind adventure deeper into the dome, we came across the storage area. Brain controls. Oh. A magnet. Another generator part. Oh, the plantation's broke. I can't get there. No. Oh. Oh, so we need to turn the generator on. Ooh, coconut meat. Nice. And then we'll be able to, like, move things about. Oh, shit. We've turned it on. System is operational. Oh, is this going to be a puzzle? Oh, no, I need to... I need to clear it to get there. Right, okay. Oh, my God. Shit. Wait. This tape means something, doesn't it? This tape means something. The, the, it'll be like you can walk through it that way. That one you can do either one. That one's only that. Listen, I'm about as well known for my ability to be defeated by literally any puzzle as I am for my fear of the ocean. Which is why I was incredibly proud that we did this puzzle on our very first attempt. I am not the sort of person who usually enjoys puzzles in video games. I have something called, you know, a life which is far too busy for puzzles. I'll give it a go, and if after five minutes I've not had any luck, I'll Google that bitch. People who enjoy puzzles in video games are the sort of people that would raise their hand in class every time the teacher had a question because you were so desperate to let everyone know you were so clever. You are the Hermione Grangers of this world. Do you, do you know what those sorts of people are doing nowadays? Wordle. There are actual people in this world whose first task of the day is to have their spelling tested. My morning routine usually consists of curling an absolute monster out on the bog while watching TikToks of Sprite Challenge Demon Burps. Different gravy. Anyway, we complete the puzzle which opened the pathway. Genius. Water pipe. The engines are done. People upstairs are already upset about the extreme rationing. Now we're at the mercy of the waves. And those rafts on the horizon are coming closer by the hour. I'm sealing up the reactor now. I don't care what Captain Tully says. I really could have used you here, Hanna. Oh no. It's all happening, isn't it? Well, I don't really have a huge amount of food. Oh shit. One, two, three. It was then that I got struck with a problem. A problem I had expected but hadn't had yet. Motion sickness. Staring at the crane puzzle for five minutes straight must have unsettled me as my head started spinning and I started to feel really sick. The good news is that because you liked the video just there, and you, yeah, you who isn't subscribed yet, because you just hit the subscribe button, I was able to continue like a big brave boy. We opened the hatch which caused the storage area to flood, and after a brief moment of sphincter fluctuating panic, we realized that this actually helped us, as we can now swim up to the plantation area. Oh, they're screaming upstairs. After the captain opened fire on the rafters, a damn riot broke out. Some supported Tully's orders, others really did not. A smaller raft made its way into the water entrance, but there was only a kid on board. His parents were sick, I think. Poor boy isn't saying much. Tangaroa's a lost cause. We're Wait, getting out that... of here. Uh oh. What was his name? Deto. Because his mum was sick. And we know a uh, butcher was sick. Maybe his dad was the butcher. Am I about to get electrocuted? Oh, for fuck's sake. We 
going to be super slow. Oh, I can cut that. Bananas. Yes. I'll have a banana. Oh, it gives fucking nothing. This is ins I was not expecting this obstacle course. I've had a puzzle and an obstacle course. Ooh, what's that? Duct tape. Oh! Tape. We've not seen tape before. Do we have to use it to fix something? Big job. Oh! Yeah, let's just go. What are these? <gasps> strawberry. Oh, sh strawberry and mango uh, smoothie we could make with our banana. No, not mango. I meant uh, banana. That's a water malone, isn't it? Oh, that's not an axe. This is an axe. More bananas, more planks, more banana seeds, more bananas. Another note. No, no, no. The entire ecosystem is ruined. Uh, I've warned Captain Tully about this for weeks now. My contract doesn't allow me to tell anyone else, and it's eating me Fuck up. Fuck the inside. contract, dude. The banana plants won't bear nearly enough fruit, not to mention the infestations. We'll be starving by the end of the year, if not sooner. This Captain Tully. Not to be presumptuous, but sounds like a bit of a prick. He um seems to have hyperfixated on the raft and the rafters that came in and everybody's dead. He pushed the engines too hard. He fucked up the, the banana plantations. Right, I need three more tapes somewhere. Things have gone quiet. Ruben. Security team still going patrols in their ridiculous golf carts trying to keep them semblance of order. I heard the rafters let loose some type of rat. Oh, and they strap tasers on all the butler bots. It's like some kind of dumb guerrilla war upstairs. We're fixing up a boat, but there's no engine. The raft kid thinks we could take one of the golf cart engines. It's not a bad idea. Captain Tully and the investors are still up in the tower. I say leave them there to rot. The investors. So I was right about them being rich people here. Can that not open? No. Right, I need three more tapes somewhere. Uh, it's 100%. Um, did I come through there? It's 100% Dotto. That's, um, Dotto. Fuck, why can I never remember his name? Dotto. Has to be. He's, he's the inventor, isn't he? Wait, did I come this way? Have I been down here? Let me have a quick gander. If he's smart enough to use the golf engine cart, must be him. I don't remember these stairs. Hello? You friendly? What the fuck? Max Landshoff, founder of the Tangora Project, savior of Earth's finest. The kid's name is Detto. <gasps> How someone his age is to reconstruct an engine like that? I'll never know. But now we've got the boat working. We'll be gathering up a few more survivors before we head off. The rafters either hid up in the apartments or left to sea. Most of them seemed sick. No wonder they were so desperate. We need to hurry. Those large rats that came with the rafters are aggressive. I say let them chew Tangaroa into pieces. I'm coming for you, Hana. Remember the place we heard about? The sanctuary? We'll meet there. I know it. I'll see you there. Sick. Utopia. This place was huge, unlike anything we had come across in this game before. These vending machines held a whole host of treats and loot which could be traded with some sort of gold coin. Who knows where we could get these gold coins from because right now, the sheer unexpectedness of finding an actual floating city was overwhelming. This place had long since been abandoned 
and the eerie silence was equal parts unnerving, but also beautiful. We soon found an answer as to whether those robot wardens were friendly, as we got too close to one and it tried to taser me to death. We found one of the external doors we had noticed on our journey in, and to our pleasure, it opened. This meant we now had easy access back to our raft. To celebrate, we attempted to kill one of the robot warden Zappa critters, and we appeared to be able to stun or temporarily incapacitate them. Once we did, a keycard would pop out of his noggin, and we could use these keycards to open different locks within the city. Does this work? Oh, it does. I'm inside. Eight. Yo, there's defo some rich folk living here. They made of the moolah. Look at this kitchen marble top marbled clock there's definitely nobody here so sounds to me as if some people like um deep made the deep detto managed to fix the boat so that some people managed to leave on the boat and then others stayed but they were ill so they died i don't see no bodies though but then again maybe this game is trying to appeal to a younger audience and if they put dead bodies in it they'd have to give it a more mature rating Oh, we zip line in. I can make that, right? Oh, that was a bit, a bit close, that one. Right, if I go there, I can't get up, though. Oh, shit. No, you'd have to zip line down, jump off, grab, zip line. Oh, no. I'm, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to jump back up. I've got to commit. Oh, my God. Zip line, jump, zip line. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shit. Fucked it. No. Our parkour skills could certainly use some much needed TLC, but we didn't let that stop us from exploring this city. And believe me, there was a lot to explore. Every robot we stunned gave us a keycard, and every keycard opened a door to a skyscraper, and every skyscraper held twists and turns, loot which we hadn't seen before, and even entrances to rooftops. I'd like to say it was as simple as taking an elevator to the top, looting, and then going back down, but instead, we found ourselves leaping from skyscraper to skyscraper, getting hopelessly lost, but we also found ourselves getting lucky. You see, we found a gold coin, one that we could use in the vending machines. And once I had found one, I soon gained the scent for them all and found another and another and another. Soon, we had enough gold coins to purchase a backpack. This gave us some extra inventory space and also gave me an erection. Finally, a backpack. It wasn't just residential homes we were looting though. There was even office blocks filled with loot. We stopped going back to the raft at night and instead just kept exploring. We found even more gold coins which meant we could get some more goodies from the vending machine. This time, some body armor and some leather greaves. My god, we didn't realize how useful these would be until later on, but we will get to that. Alongside gold coins, we had also been finding an abundance of duct tape. So once we thought we had searched everywhere we could on the surface, we went back down into the dungeon-like corridors below and repaired some more of the broken electrical units. Eventually, we repaired enough to stop the electric current running through the water and open up a final door which would lead us to an elevator. This would get us inside a previously unreachable tower. We climbed the tower which led to a zip line leading to another previously unreachable tower and this led to a final zip line. This time to the biggest tower of them all, the one at the center of the city. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I don't fuck this up. All right, just run around the sides, check that there's nothing. Yeah, no. All right. This is a big ass ladder. Please don't fall. 
Oh. What do you... What even is this tower? Gah. Oh, that'll say Tangora, won't it? We don't need plastic, really. We have so much of it. Oh. Two. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Please just give me the code. New note. It was puzzle time. Cranium concentration. Thought thinking. Mind moodling synapse stimulating beat the puzzle time. Luckily, this one wasn't too hard. Each picture next to a street name represented a shop. All we needed to do was find out what number building each shop was and boom, we had the code. It took us a little while to find them all, thanks to my absolutely catastrophic sense of direction, but eventually, we had our code. One, no, oh wait, yeah, no, four, eight, one, three. <gasps> yes! What the fuck is going? Fuck off, it's, la it's launched something in the water. I might regret jumping down here. Oh, oh, I regret jumping down here. Where's my raft? Oh, oh my raft's over here. I'm going to sail to it. I'm not swimming to that. Is that everything here? I don't know. Oh, shit. Now, did anything unlock? Can I come back up? I regret jumping down. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Fuck off. Ah, oh, 90. N day 90. Cool. Sleep. Do it in the day. Oh. Oh, fuck off. I always thought Bruce would be the most annoying shark in the game. But, um, yeah. Soon. Anyway, we set sail to the thing which launched in the ocean. We can just go. Alright. For real this time. For real, for real. In three. In two. Shit. Oh. What the fuck? This place is trashed. That's Tully. Only kill. He looks fucking evil. Max Lanshaw. Oh! <gasps> Hi. You there? Get me out of this thing. Oh, thanks. Next time, I would appreciate a heads Where up. Where the fuck are your shoes? I tried to leave when the first shots were fired. Kangaroa was doomed from the start. If you get me a ride out of here, I can offer you entrepreneurial consulting. What are you doing with your hands? I did some sailing in my youth. Won a few championships. I'll be useful. Um, fuck off. Wonderful. You can count on me. New playable character. Okay, well, we don't care about Elaine. She's get the sh I did not see her sitting there whatsoever. Water tank. 
We got it. The next one. 6589. Nice. This place is trashed. From the launch, I'm guessing. Oh, no, no. Paper. Is this it? Is that all I was getting? Oh, no. More leather. Can I have wool, please? Or a llama? Oh, no. My name is James Tully. Oh, did he die? Hopefully. Tangaroa City was built on a purely theoretical basis. Using engines that had barely been tested. Held together by the sweat and tears of our crew. But we were never sustained. I should have accepted that months ago. When the rafters arrived, I could have let them starve with us. But I didn't. The only right choice was to abandon Tangaroa to the waves. Now I will stay here, trapped in the cockpit, with two dozen idiots who used to run the world. Don't worry. We'll pay for our sins before the end. Shit. So is he trapped like through there? So we can't go through there, but... Nice. All right. Well, Jesus Christ. A whole city in raft. No idea what the fuck is going on. But we have Varuna Point to get to. So make sure you tune in next time, troops. Ah, I'm only joking. Yeet. Let's go. <sighs> right. Lift the anchor. We're going straight away. Put a bunch of fuel in there. Take that up. Non-stop high octane next level drama continues. We didn't want to stop. This game had me hooked. And no, I didn't really mean that joke. I only realized once I'd finished the script, but my God, was it good. We punched in our newly discovered code and wasting no time in setting sail. Along the way, we tidied up the raft a little bit, replacing the vertical beams with horizontal ones. This meant that things just looked neater and more organized. Oh, a crane. Varuna point. Or Varuka point. So it looks like some sort of construction. Maybe this was like the original um, Tango, Tangora, Tang, Tangora Island. Maybe. Is there anything that's going to hurt me on here? What I'll do is I'll just wait till nightfall so i can sleep and we'll do it in the morning because it's easier to see in that and it's less spooky less spooky in the morning oh yeah keep getting about the catfish we slept the night away and began to explore varuna point the following morning it's got birds nest it whoa oh we're gonna end up going high here aren't we Ooh. Oh god. Oh, Olaf's been here. Fuck. I he he's the ultimate enemy. He's the one that we're finding at the end of the game and we're gonna kill. Um shit. He'll be at the very I don't know. Is this it's this I always get this with games. Um, if you do any sort of YouTube yourself, maybe you'll know. I have no idea when the games end, when they finish. And it's really difficult when you're trying to plan things. Um, like for making time for recording and, and uploading or whatever. It's so scary because I'm terrified that I'll end an episode and be like, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And click and scroll, I can't let you go. And then I couldn't sit down to record after I've released that video. And it's like, yeah, there was literally like seven minutes of game left. So um, I don't know if this is the end. I don't, it doesn't look like the end. Again, I don't know if the end means you escape. I think the we it, it, the ending of the game is either going to have Olaf Olaf and we kill him, a rocket ship to take us to another planet, and this is actually the prequel to Subnautica, or three, we find a cure for global warming. A man talking to dolls arrived yesterday. I found his loud discussions entertaining. Maybe I miss company a bit too. The man climbed high up into the crane with a satellite dish. He called out on his little radio for Astrid. It looked uh, unsuccessful. I might have stolen one of his dolls. Miranda is his name. The man left an arrow 
after freaking out all day over it. <laughs> Such strange people these days. Oh, Grab is a bit of a bell end if he's stealing shit. Oh, I hate this. This place certainly had a strange feeling about it. We continued to climb anyway, and we found a cab to the crane. Here, it looked like we needed a key. Should be simple enough. Just climb a bit higher, and it's probably at the top. Is what we thought. Oh, boy. Ooh, oh, nice. Look at this little setup here. Oh, God, oh, it's a lot of ocean underneath. Electric grill. This is Olaf, I bet you. When people come by, no. they don't stay for long. Why? Well, probably because I keep stealing their stuff. Today, it was a man named <gasps> Ruben and a boy named Deto. They were caught in a storm and needed supplies. When they fell asleep, I nicked a whole set of tools. <laughs> Crude stuff, but still good. In the morning, they were so freaked out, they sailed away immediately. <laughs> Hilarious. I think we found somebody worse than Olaf. Stealing from Deto. After looking around at the top, we couldn't find a key. No problem, I thought. It's probably on the other bit of the building. I'll just zip mine down and find it there. But it wasn't there. I couldn't find this key anywhere. At this point, I knew I needed to jump back into the sea to get back to the raft. And it was then that I noticed something unusual. What the fuck is that? Oh, that better not be tentacles. It's fine. It's fine. You? <laughs> You're an ocean game master. Your entire potential content creation career revolves around oceans. Boy, you better get comfortable with this. You did. You completed some Nautica. You completed some Nautica below zero. You're going to complete Raft. You can get over this. All you got to do is jump in. All you got to do is just... W key. Balls deep, squint and sprint in three. In two, in one. Oh God, there's Bruce. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, oh there's a hole underneath bit. What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? There's a hole underneath, but is that where the crane key's gonna be? Jesus Christ, hold up. Let me cook some more fish. Let me get my let me get my wits together. There was a new dimension now. We had spent our time on the ocean. Now it was time to go under the ocean. We prepped everything we thought we might need. And we went to investigate. Oh, don't, don't fucking... Don't you f just... Ugh! What do I do? 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 Oh shit, I forgot about the shark. What does this do? Requires four spotlight parts. What do you mean spotlight parts? What do you mean spotlight parts? I don't know. It's very pretty that, isn't it? Lovely. I am nearly out of oxygen. Spotlight part. No. Construction helmet, though. G. Shark's fucking still after me. I'm running out of oxygen. I'm running out of oxygen. No, 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 no. The shark needs to die. What the hell? Four spotlight parts. We established that the spotlight parts would fix the spotlight, shining on a bloom of jellyfish blocking an entrance. I won't lie to you troops, this took a while. A lot of pussyfooting around, scared of going too deep, just in case I ran out of oxygen. Me, being in the water, 
It's like a nun having sex. It's just not natural. But eventually, thanks to sheer happenstance and luck, we discovered what looked to be an old apartment containing all of the parts we needed. We picked them up, repaired the light, and lo and behold, the jellyfish scattered and we entered the new area. This is when we discovered that these two buildings were two old world skyscrapers, somehow still standing in the ocean. That wasn't the weirdest part though. This grabber geezer had turned the lower floors of these skyscrapers into a death trap. There were wooden spikes and trip wires everywhere. I dislike this guy even more now. Still, we pushed forward further into the maze, eventually stumbling on a key called the Motherload Key. Confused and not quite sure what this was, we kept moving forward. Our questions were answered when we discovered some sort of graffiti on the wall. It indicated that further down, deeper below us, was a treasure chest. The Motherload. I clenched every hole in my body and jumped back into the ocean. Three, two, one, yeet! Oh, it's here. How deep down now am I? Am I meant to go down even further then? In here. This isn't fun. Oh, it's G for Grabber. It's these places that he's been. Just want the crane key. Oh, shit, fish. I need oxygen. What sort of mother load is he talking about? Like a mother load of treasure? More fish, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. Breathe. Go. Is this the mother load? Oh. Oh, oh what the fuck is that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Can I kill you? Oh! I need oxygen. I need oxygen though. What is this place? Oh! Explosions! Oh, that hurt. What am I? I don't. I. I'm confused. Oh, he knocked a hole through there. It has to be. Has there's nothing to do with these. Uh oh. 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 Uh, just juke him. Oh. I, oh no, I have a barrel. Oh no, 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 no. Don't hit me now. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I can't see because this barrel. Oh my god, I'm drowning. I forgot. Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe, breathe. <gasps> Shh, fuck off. I'm going to die. I am going to die. I am going to die. We had a problem. Number one, I didn't have a clue what to do. And number two, because of the ridiculously unnecessary, pathetic durability of most items in this game, our leather armor had now broken, meaning that this monstrous shark now did some serious damage. We had also lost our flippers and breathing mask, so we now had the lung capacity of an infant child and swam like we were in treacle. All of these were super resource heavy and we couldn't replace them. But sometimes when you're not quite sure what to do, you just have to keep moving forward. Perseverance, consistency and tenacity. So we didn't give up and tried to figure out what to do. So this is going to be the biggest fucking challenge. Ooh. Just hide. Can we hide? Oh my God. Hide. Uh, oh, shit. Charge me so I can get past. Charge me so I can get past. I need oxygen. Fuck it. We're so slow. We're so slow. No! No! No, 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 no. This is... Oh, this is a pain in my ass. 
is what this is. It's a real pain in my ass. It's fucked off. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh. What the fuck? Wait, is that what I'm meant to do? We'd figured it out. The pillars hide behind him when he charges and he breaks the pillar. Requires explosive. Do I put the barrels there? It looks like a rhino. Yes! Now fuck off. He's behind me, isn't he? He's behind me. Oh, we got it. Right, okay. So now, now we just put barrels in. And then what? Not having a great time. Use explosive barrel. Oh! Did he die? Did I kill her? Tequila. I need juice. Oh, she's it. Come back down. Oh my God, there's more pillars. Fuck my life. It appears that there were multiple levels to this challenge. More pillars to be destroyed. I didn't want to spend a second longer underwater than I absolutely needed to, so we wasted no time in trying to tease her into giving these pillars some head. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Genuinely, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling this is impossible to do without... Um, flippers. Oh, look, he's going to hit me and I can't do anything. It's just so slow to get anywhere and I'm going to die of thirst. I know it. Things weren't looking too good. Low on mood, low on health, low on fucks to give. We needed to change things up. Instead, we headed back to the raft to replenish hydration and have a look around to see if there were any resources we could collect to craft some more flippers. The oxygen, it wasn't too much of a problem. There were plenty of vents giving us air once we were down in the depths, but this lack of speed was killing me. To our surprise, there was plenty of seaweed close to the surface of the skyscrapers. We harvested everything we could and it resulted in us having enough to make some more flippers. It was time for round two with the rhino shark. Okay, you've already hit that one, so... Ooh! Boom! Oh, do you only need it in one to get higher and higher? Oh! That might be the case. So, yeah, so you go... Right, okay. Because it, it's broke the top, so that means I get up to that top one. Shit. He's going to come out of that one. Oh, he's there. Hey, Rhino. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. There we go. Oh, do it, does it have to be higher, maybe? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to drown. going to drown. going to drown. Shit. Oh, just missed. There we go, there we go. All right, we need another one of them. Get some bubbles. Some bubbles. There we go, right, up, 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 up. Perfect, that was, that's exactly what we wanted then. Right, we're just gonna need another one of them. So again, he's probably gonna come behind me. So I'm gonna go towards him where he goes in the hole. I wanna get me some bubbles really quickly. Oh, fucked it. I deserve that. Oh, no. He's causing me more and more damage as well. There we go. That's what we want. Up, 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 up. Hello. Right. Fucking hone in on me or whatever it is you do. Perfect. Right. One more. Get a barrel. Yes! 
Yes! He's dead! He's dead! Rhino's dead! Rhino's dead! Rhino's dead! Come on! Oh my god, that was so stressful and annoying. Oh, please give me, like, everything. Please tell me your intestines can be, like, a knife? Can be used as, I don't know, super armor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it just shark meat you're giving me, though? And his head. Okay, oh, right. So, now what? I presume that is going to... I don't know, give me something. Oh, at this point, crane key. That's still what we're looking for. I hope the crane key's here. Wind turbine, crane key. A wind turbine. Finally, after all that effort, we had the key. We wasted no time, went straight back up to the crane and slotted the key in the crane cockpit. We watched as a new entrance was made for us. Excited to see what secrets it held, we ziplined straight down and through the hole to discover a new four-digit code. This time for a place called the Temperance. Temperance 64. Yes. It's not the end of the game. And an advanced battery. This game had started as a 100 day challenge for me. So let's have a quick recap as to what we've been up to recently. We maimed a creature, looked at some paper, mache, set off a budget rocket ship, found a massive snow globe, did some puzzles, genuinely nearly peaked from motion sickness from doing the puzzle, recovered like a champ and played Spider-Man on the skyscrapers, gave myself the willies diving deep into the ocean, got into fight with the thickest shark you have ever seen in your entire life, played Crane Simulator 2023 and watched the sunrise on day... Actually... It's not really important what day it is. You see, this journey started out with me wanting to complete 100 days in this game. The focus was on the days, surviving, conquering the ocean and hitting the triple digits and saying goodbye. But along the way, something changed. It stopped being about just surviving and started being about the story. What started with a 100 day challenge Ended with a genuine love for the game. My my bollocks are about the size of a of a a sweet corn kernel or a pea. Um, it is absolutely freezing. Mm. Um, I don't know why I spoke to you about the size of my bollocks. Um, it's day ninety six, exactly where we finished off, uh, where we killed the big rhino shark thing, and then now. We have another place to go to, I'm presuming. I have no idea. I, at this point now, I don't even think about things. I just follow blindly. 6483 to temperance. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Turn it on. 6483. 1800 meters that way. Okay. On the way to whatever this temperance was, we decided to try and make our raft a little bit more cozy. Lantern. Now that might be a good idea. I mean, I don't have a huge... Oh, God, I really don't have a huge amount of wood. But, um... Oh, fire basket. Let me make one of them. What does that look like? A basket of fire. Lo and behold, would you believe... <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, man. That gave me goosebumps. There's something so incredibly cozy about fire. I'm not saying this is a pyrotechnic. No, pyrotechnics. Py py pyromaniac. Pyromaniac? I'm not saying it is one of them, but there's something so blissful about when you're at a campfire and you, um, you're just like, just staring into the fire. I feel like there's something so mythical about it. No? Am I? I can't be the only one. Oh, God. Did I make three fire baskets? Oh, I can put one down here. Look. Where should I put this one? Put it there. I'm not sure about the logistics of having several open fires on a wooden raft, but the game seemed to allow it, so question it no more, I shall. That being said, perhaps my subconscious knew something that the rest of me didn't. 
we would want to make the most of our time by a nice warm fire, because a little while later, we spotted something on the horizon. Something that would turn out to be rather cold. That's an island. You guys see that? Yeah. That, what, is that? That's not land. Nah, it's not land. Is it? Oh! It is! It is! It is? It is. It is land. It is land. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, it's giving me heebie-jeebies a little bit, but maybe that's because it gives me reference to the ocean. Hold up. Let me sleep. Let me sleep and we'll assess in the daytime. Assess we did, and lo and behold, it was land. If you can call icebergs land. We had entered a frosty new biome, and as we sailed closer, we saw a massive island on the horizon. We zigzagged and maneuvered our way through the massive icebergs and frosty plains before finally anchoring up near the big island and setting off on an adventure. Okay. Whoa. Why the hell do I run so slow? I don't know, it's icy, but so oh wait, I can go. Oh God, look at, oh no, there's no traction. But if I jump, I'm fine. Okay. This is me now. This is how I move. It's the new locomotion of this biome. Oh, something man made. Looks like a, a crate. Shipping container, maybe. A flag, a frozen flag. A tower. Oh, it's a bunker. No. Oh. Fuck off. Oh. Have we got third person? I can... Oh my god, there's a polar bear. What the fuck? Oh, this thing's fast. Do I need to... Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh, this it is some sort of, like, research laboratory. Question is, can the bear get me here? Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. How is the game just going to casually give me... A snowmobile. How many kills bullets is this gonna but things is this gonna take? How far can he run up these things? Can I cheese this? Oh, he's running away. Polar bear's a bitch. Oh, he's not a bitch. Run, 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 run. Can he can he climb? He can't oh he can climb. Yeah, 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 he can climb. Okay, dodge. We're gonna have to dodge like the bears. Dodge like the bears. Dodge like the bears. Oh we didn't do too much damage. He's a weak ass bear. Yeah, you're all fart and no shit, aren't you, you fluff ball? Oh, <gasps> leave my snowmobile alone. I can just dodge. Yeah, look, he pauses and swipes. I really wish they kind of made these uh, animal encounters maybe a little bit more challenging. Maybe everyone else finds it challenging. Maybe I'm just so good at the game. Obviously, the latter reason, of course. Raft Esports Champion 2023. After killing the bear, we took a closer look at the tower it seemed to be guarding. At the base of it, there was a reel of electric cable that we could collect and add to our inventory. Not sure what we could do with this, we continued on the snowmobile until we came across what looked like a village. Of course, it was abandoned and nobody was in sight, but we buried our disappointment and headed down into one of the bunkers. Here, we discovered that it was filled with radiation and we couldn't enter further. So instead, we went back up and wandered around the village. A network of cables that we would have to connect to presumably power something on in the village. That was what we introduced we were looking at with this puzzle. When we connected a cable to a power unit, it would open the door of an igloo for us to explore. Most of the igloos followed a similar theme with a few vending machine coins and some basic loot. Eventually though, we ran out of cables to connect and we had to go and collect some more. The towers were dotted about the island and they were usually accompanied by a polar bear. All in all though, they weren't too difficult. Whilst we were hunting down the towers and the bears, we noticed two Homer Simpson towers in the distance. We decided to go and have a nosy. Oh, it's got some ambient noise to it. Oh, Celine Research Facility. What's... A fucking blowtorch. I need a radioactive suit and a blowtorch. Can I not just chip that shit off? Right, okay. 
so far, during our time on the island, we knew we needed some sort of radioactive soup to get us into the bunker, and we also needed a blowy to get through the big door. But putting suits and blowies behind us for a second, we returned with our electric cables to the village and connected some more power lines. And then where does this, this one goes down here. Okay. Oh, the hospital wing. Oh, I was going to say, we've not found any notes. That kid Detto is really smart. Bruno. Using material we salvaged, he was able to fix up my boat. Ruben is recovering too, but uh, uh, he doesn't seem to want to talk to me a lot. Both of them stare whenever I talk to Henry. Henry doesn't like the way they look at us. I think I need to do something. Wait, wait, why are they looking at you funny? Wait, who's Henry? Oh, my memory's awful. I remember that. Oh, he's the wizard kid. A really smart one. And Bruno was the one that, um, oh, oh, healing salve. Wherever Detto went, he left a wake of memories spoken by other people. This kid had survived strong and true, and it was nice to hear of him again. In the next building, our wildest dreams came true, as we finally found a blowy. Uh, oh, literally just about to say, a bit disappointed that there's not been like a, a blowtorch or a radioactive suit, and lo and behold, a blow was right in front of me. Wasting no time at all, we headed straight back up to the iron gate where we could use a blowtorch on the lock. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Nice. Again, we could have chipped away at it, but... Oh, a key. <sighs> a key. Of course. Of course. Of course, a key. Where the f Where is the key? This was the question we would have to answer to be able to see what was behind those iron doors. Without really knowing where to go or what to do, we ragged the snowmobile around the island until we spotted a building that we hadn't yet been to. A note. I've already lost Miranda. I will not lose you too, Henry. The two of us have followed a signal far south. I know it's from my sister. There's no doubt. Henry is skeptical. He thinks the cold will be dangerous. I'm more scared of whatever's out there in the snowstorm. So Bruno came through. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a. No. No, don't make me do it. Don't. It's going to make me do it, isn't it? Oh, bye. Ah. Uh, if I go in here. It's, it's like oh, underneath the island. Oh, oh, underneath an iceberg. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I'm done. All right. Why the fuck is this water not frozen, by the way? All right. Three, two. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. All right. Oh, God. There's a, there's a fish. There's a spiky fish. All right. We'll just go. We'll just go. Don't even worry about the fish. Let me flip us on. Let me go a little bit faster. We swam through the cave, up along a long ladder, and arrived at the base of what looked to be some sort of research tower. Yeah, hey, this is a lovely place. Hey, up, look, a note. There's bears all over this frozen island. One of them completely wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual tricks worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Detto. Says Detto. he came here with some survivors. Oh. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. Oh, you can trust Detto a thousand. I'm sorry. I thought Bruno was with, um, uh, was, was, was with, 
um, Deto is not... Okay, that's fine. But we know Deto is here. He's the only one I care about right now. He's the only one we care about. There's another note here. New note added. Okay, here's the thing. Allow me to be open with you for a second. If I left how long it actually took me to solve puzzles in my videos, then these videos would be exceedingly long. So allow me to summarize. Here, we found a collection of notes, four of them in total, each showing a diagram of something followed by a number. Following the spiral staircase to the top level, we discovered that me thinking this was a research center was only half right. It was, in fact, an observatory. Next to the rather large telescope, there was a safe with a four digit combination on it. So the goal was clear here. We needed to figure out the code. We noticed on the walls, there appeared to be posters of star constellations alongside a number. Finally, there was a console in front of the telescope that we could control. The controls pointed the telescope at various constellations so we could view them. After a painfully long time, we figured the puzzle out. Each constellation had a certain number of stars. The notes that we found show diagrams of the star constellations and the numbers represented in the order 1 to 4. I deduced that we simply had to find the corresponding constellation from the note on the console, find out how many stars made up that constellation and boom, we had a digit of our code. <gasps> yes! A key! Tokens and an, oh, an advanced station reactor. That's fine. We picked it up, so I don't. And that's just a blueprint. Right. Okay. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got the key. Let's go put the key in. Let's not waste any time. Let me eat some shark meat as well. Here. Radioactive suit. Radioactive suit in the bunker. Bunker code. Code. New place. Game finishes. You subscribe. Oh. oh. Oh my god, look at this. This looks sciencey. It's like a reactor. Oh, we gotta fix things. We gotta fix things. It is, it is genuine reactor. Insert control rods. Whoever finds this, know that I held humanity's interest first. Always. Sparrow. I was sent to Celine alongside two colleagues. Sparrow. One of which I discovered was a mole by the investors. Had Owl been allowed to come to Celine, the knowledge of this unlimited green energy would have been monopolized by the same people who caused this mess to begin with. The other colleague I left behind. I did not trust you, Kaku. I couldn't. It was too much of a risk. Kaku. I hope you will forgive me. We read about a sparrow, did we not? Way back when at the the, the bit where we found out the shark was called Bruce and we, we seen somebody. Sparrow. Kaku. So we need control rods that we're going to find. And oh, it... I told you. Oh my god. There's a timer? Oh shit. How on earth are we going to get one of these away? Oh, maybe that maybe this leads to somewhere. 50 SN, what does that mean? 20 CA? What? What? 50 up RB? Oh no. Chlorine, 17 chlorine. What's that? 10? Another puzzle. Another painful experience for you guys to watch. So alas, allow me to summarize. This one was fairly straightforward, yet I still fucked up numerous times. On this floor, there was a bunch of posters which had chemical elements and their two-letter abbreviation alongside a two-digit code. In various rooms on this level, there were also a bunch of computer consoles each with a sign showing a chemical abbreviation. So, super simply, you had to punch in the code from the matching poster into the console. The difficult part was, when you punched in the first code, a timer started and you had to complete all of the consoles before it ran out. This combined with the, I can't believe I'm saying this, durability 
the radiation suit, and then I had to do it a few times, but eventually we completed it. Oh, this door opened. We're going down deeper. I bet you there's rats here. Oh no, rats. I hate that my radioactive thing wears down even. Oh my. Rod, we have a rod. Oh. Oh, that's worse than rats. Is that, I, I, is that a bug? I don't want to stop and look just in case. Ah, there we go. Uh. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm overwhelmed. Was that a mutant ladybug? What the fuck's this? I presume I'm into. <gasps> oh my! Yep, mutant ladybugs. Again, another thing I was not expecting in this game. To fix the reactor, we had to explore this research lab and find three control rods. To get the remaining ones, we had to do the most frustrating task I've done yet. A laser mirror reflection challenge thing. Honestly, this was about 20 minutes of me randomly spinning mirrors around to reflect a laser beam because could I figure the damn thing out? But eventually, through sheer brute force, we angled them all right and it opened the door which led to the control rods. We then used the controlled rods and slotted them in the main reactor control center back where we started. This opened up the main chamber-like room which contained a reactor. We had to fight off a few more mutant ladybugs while spinning a valve to shut the reactor down. This then, you guessed it, opened a another door, but this time it led to some sort of cryogenic human freezer section. That's an ECG, what the f- There's someone in there. Oh, goosebumps, man! <gasps> Good morning. You're not. Oh, I get it. They left me here. Wow. Thanks for waking me up. Long term cryosleep can result in a number of issues. <laughs> what? So, how long? You got room for a bioengineer? I swear. It's actually practical. Do it with the hands. Great! That's very nice of you. I didn't say I'll shit, do my fam. Best. New playable character. Nice. Alright. And he disappears. That was unexpected. Oh! That's it. Utopia. We have it. Is this the last place? It was the last place. We didn't know it yet, but this was to be our final chapter. We didn't hang about, how could we, after all? We did, however, search the underground bunkers on our way back, and I'm glad we did, because there was a ton of titanium ore there. But before you knew it, we were back on our raft and was heading to our final destination, Utopia. Oh, I have, um, I've had to upgrade to my house coat that we call it here in Scotland. You might know it as a dressing gown. I've even also got a hot water bottle. A water bottle. A hot, oh, oh, a hot water bottle because it is absolutely free. Let me just get my tie there. There we go. There we go. It's like a, it's like a child. Like, shh. Oh shit! Oh, no swearing, no swearing. Uh, that's gonna fit in. Just uh, is genuinely freezing, and I'll be real with you. Uh, heat, putting the heating on is really expensive, so we're wearing this now. The cold temperatures, both in my room and in the game, couldn't cool my excitement of reaching Utopia. This felt like endgame ship, so we kept the engine on full throttle and the sails pointed towards our destination. We used our excitement during this downtime as we travelled by making some upgrades to our raft. First and foremost, a large storage unit. 
I always felt like I was lacking on sufficient storage, so this massive unit was to massively help me. Whilst rejigging our loot, we realised we had completely forgotten we had a piano. It was time to dust off the old magic fingers. Well, it makes perfect sense to have it. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. We gather around the campfire to sing the campfire song. The C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't sing it faster than you, if you don't sing it faster than you, faster than you're wrong. It'll help if you just sing along. It's the C A M P F A R E S O N G song. C A M P F A R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that you can sing it faster, then you're wrong. It'll help if you just sing along. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> ah. Focus on the journey, not the destination. It's the journey that's important, not the destination. These are all things I'm sure all of us have been told during a time of need by a friend, family member, or fortune cookie. And whilst it may be cliche and somewhat cheesy, it's also correct. And it's something that this game embodies. Sure, the points of interest are exciting. Big islands to explore, creatures to battle, a story to unfold. But what really makes this game special is those moments in between. The journey between the islands. There really is something serene and almost nostalgic about creating your own raft. You literally start with a piece of wood and a plastic hook. And plank by plank, you build something special, something that's yours, something that you can call home. That's what I like about this game. Sure, the ocean makes my bowels turn into a gravy McFlurry machine, but if I try not focus on that, I can almost relax while playing. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, is it just me or is it getting warm in here? Hold up, let me put that between my loins instead. Oh, oh that's warm. Look. What? Oh. <gasps> We're coming up to Utopia! I think? We are! Oh, this is it! Oh, nice! We had finally, after all this time, laid our eyes on Utopia. And as we drifted closer, it became apparent that this place used to be a large city. Skyscrapers towered into the clouds, and there looked to be a network of buildings that could only be described as tree houses. We prepared ourselves as quick as we possibly could, and then began to explore. Let's do it. It's time. Oh my god. It's a fat shovel. Donde esta mi shovel? Nothing. Oh. oh, bugs! What the fuck? Bugs. There's only one thing I hate more than bugs. Puzzles. And would you believe it? Oh. Sir. Uh, some sort of irrigation system. Uh, do I need to turn it on? Where does it lead to? Oh, there's another one over here. Maybe, maybe don't worry about that just yet. 
too much thinking power. Right, what's in here? Who's in here? Oh, look. No. Detto. Super secret. I have my own raft, and it's hooked up to actual wind turbines. If I had even more power, just imagine all the he made this place. Run. But now that lunatic Olaf appeared, his cages are already unloaded, and now he's promising to help everyone with his army. Last I saw him, Olaf Wilkstrom ruined Caravan Town. Fuck. I will never forgive him. I hope Han and Ruben listen to me. He's not to be trusted. Just in case, I decided to up the security on my raft. This map should allow only the smartest of people to enter. Like me. Right, so that's the security that he's talking about. We can't get in. Olaf's been here, the little shit. The little fucking shit. Oh. Requires harpoon and carbon dioxide can canister. Right, okay. Well, it looks like we do need to turn on this irrigation system somehow. Oh, God. Don't fall off here. That would be tragic. Um, if I look at the map, there's a water pump. So, the house, the water pump. So, we need to fill the water tank up and turn a water pump on. Seems simple, right? Wrong for me. Anyway, what was to follow was an agonizing experience of an absolute refusal to google any solutions followed by a tenacity to never quit oh we also ran into something electricity that's an electricity symbol by the looks of it <gasps> oh, what the fuck are you what the fuck are you oh no are you like a hyena or something are you a hyena you're a rabid hyena ah oh. Oh my god! Oh, this is bad. He's he's fucking dragging me. Oh, I killed your fam. I killed your dad. Well, this is surprising. Mutant hyenas. Big thick boys with a taste for human. You'd have thought that these would have been my worst enemy. But do you know what was? Boxes. That's right, boxes. The challenge that was presented to us was this. We had to connect yet another series of towers with electrical cables in order to provide power to some water pumps. This, however, was not an easy task as it involved us having to use the boxes in order to reach hard to get areas like the rooftops of buildings. All in all, this literally took me about 45 minutes, but through lots of trial and error and the occasional Hakuna Matata having a nibble at me, we did manage to connect all of the wires and power on the pump but Butch, we like watching these parts of the videos as you figure things out. Shut your mouth. That's like giving a monkey a crossword puzzle or a League of Legends player a woman. They just don't have a clue what to do with it. It's a kind of suffering where you almost feel sorry for them. What was worse was once we had done with the puzzle, we had the water pipe puzzle to follow next. This involved having to spin three sections of an irrigation system in order to correctly connect the pipes to allow the water to flow through. Listen, as much as I love Detto, this was the most back asswood way to design an irrigation system So 10 points from Gryffindor. But because I'm a highly educated, glorious individual, I did dispatch the puzzle. And guess what? Another puzzle. Upon further investigation of Detto's locked cabin, we realized that there was a map with three red circles on it. These red circles indicated three specific mounds of dirt, which when we dug up, uncovered part of a code. Once we had all three, we could then enter the code in Detto's front door and have a look inside. Oh, wait, I probably need to work out the code. Um, right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Three parts of the code. Here we go. Pa oh, do can I just click on it? I don't actually. Oh, the rocket ship. The rocket ship. What is he building? How old is this kid? He is smart. Oh! Big backpack. Hey, fuck yes. Now that is his harpoon. Oh, is that for... For, um... This. Up here. I was hoping Detto would be in, but he's not in. I hope I get to meet him. I've read so much about him. I feel like I know him. 
I feel like if you've ever watched The Expanse, Detective Miller, I feel like what Julie is to Detective Miller, Deto is to me. Use. Oh, Ooh, shit. Right. Let's do it. Fuck it. YOLO. Hey, oh, this is a big zip line. Oh, shit. All right. Slow down. Oh, entrance key. Where's the entrance? Why would somebody leave that lying about? Okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh. All right, we go down here, I guess. Is this the entrance? Eat. Travel 500 meters with a zip line tool. All the... Am I actually 100% this game? Without meaning to. Don't usually 100% games. Because I have, um, what's it called? Uh, a life. Two. Oh, I suppose, yeah, one and two. Fuck. Shit. Two keys. And although we had one, we didn't have a clue where the second one was. So we ended up just wandering about. Let me guess, this requires a different key. There's people in here. Hello? Hello? Oh. From the people of Utopia. Do not trust Olof Wilkström. When he arrived here, we took his word in good faith. He exploited us at every turn. Now all of us, dissenters, are locked up, which is everyone by my count. To anyone reading oh. this, Olof should be up in the marketplace. Beware of his rabbit beasts. Please, take the master key from him. Set us free. Set Utopia Fuck. free. Olaf's put them all in fucking prison. Entrance key. They're actually in there. There's people in there. And Olaf's up at the marketplace. Where the hell's them? Right, okay. Focus up now. We have the key for the entrance key. Is it this way? I'm lost. Can I have dexterity? Ampidextrous. You know what ampidextrous means? It's one of them frogs that live in water. Ah. Oh. I'm guessing there's more vending machines here as well. Holy hell, right. Propellers. Oh. Am I supposed to do that? A cogwheel. I need to... Oh. Shit, more puzzles. Oh, I'm hitting my puzzle quota for the day. I've had a full shift today as well. I've had enough puzzles for today. Hammer. Fuck, man. A cogwheel and a hammer. Oh, this is like some full guys only up shit. Well, let me show you how good I am. Look at that. Uh, oh. We had come across some sort of elaborate tree house only up section. And I didn't really mind this. I've always preferred things which challenge motor function as opposed to cognitive function. We got to the other side and discovered a hammer and a lift. For you North Americans, that's an elevator. But this was broken and it needed a cog. So back we went to the door, which we could now open by using the hammer. And that's when we met him. We finally laid eyes upon him. Was this it? Have I been here before? Oh, yeah, this is it. Shit padlock. Whoa. I will only say this once. <gasps> Leave on your own. Oh. Leave Utopia to me. Oh. Or else. Cogs. The forward scouts end with you. You're. Oh. He's actually here. Oh, I hope we get to kill him. I really do. What happens now? Why does this feel like a boss battle area? Right, we've got some serious puzzling to do here. And that we did. And I would love to sit here and tell you that I solved it on purpose, but honestly, that would be too far from the truth. This puzzle was a suspended platform that you could raise or lower by adding on weights. 
I knew there was a particular order, and if you had a basic understanding of maths or order, then it might have been easy. But for me, I just YOLO'd my way through it, throwing on weights willy-nilly. You see, you had to place a cog on the platform. Then, by carefully selecting the correct sequence of weight, have the platform rise to the correct level so you could lift the cog off and progress. There was nothing careful about the way I did it. It was a turkey shoot, but eventually, I did do it. Math ain't mapping for me, but that's okay. Because now, I think, yes. Oh. <sighs> there we go. Oh. The filthy rafters turn luxury apartments into a scrapyard. Relieving them of the responsibility was the only decent thing I could do for them. I'm gonna I can't fish for your scrotum. How grateful all of you are. How are you having to go at them for survive? <sighs> right, okay. I feel like this puzzle is going to be harder than the previous one. And the problem is I didn't actually understand the previous one. So this could be a problem. Yeah, it was. This was long. And I'm not talking four inches long. I'm talking embarrassingly long. So this is the part where I distract you from the fact that it takes me a while to do puzzles by adding in a narration bit. And I usually make these a little bit longer than a simple transition monologue. I also add some music in, but I made sure it's at a different tempo from the previous one. All to distract you from the fact it took me ages. But hey, would you look at that? I did it. Did it. Not through maths, just by repetitive repeating. That's it. I am walking proof that you don't need to be good at math. You just need to be good at brute force and things. Am I supposed to put this somewhere? I don't think Olaf made this, but if he did, cre all credit to him, because it is quite extravagant. Wait, ain't this the same? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where am I meant to get the, the cogs? Cogs are meant to go where? I'm actually salviating at the thought of being able to do this. And then that goes all the way yonder. And then I just do my parkour thing real quick, get across to the other side, put that in the elevator, and then the elevator will take me somewhere. Take the cogwheel. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, that was a quick one. <laughs> the good news is we were now done with the platform puzzles. The bad news is things are about to get a little heated. Leave, but you just won't listen. So fine, have it your way. Where are you? Welcome to Utopia. Thank you. Are you there, you twat? I feel like something. Oh! What the fuck is going on? Oh! Well, this is not ideal. Olaf really didn't want me getting any closer to him. So much so that the challenge now was to avoid his infinite supply of homemade bombs as we use boxes to make a sort of staircase to allow us to reach the platform he was raining fire down from. Slowly but surely, and with a level of calmness which I honestly wasn't expecting, we managed to gather all of the boxes and arrange them in a way which meant we could reach the ledge. There we go. Look at Ah, oh, we did it. Did it. Where's my metal spear? Electrical zip line. Warehouse key. Not the master key, but a warehouse key. Oh, we're going higher. This is cool. I will admit. I'm enjoying this bit. Holy hell. Oh, that's who he was on about. Right, okay. He's not scare me. I have full health. Fuck this. Oh. No, Deo is the only reason anyone's alive. Okay, this might actually be a bad idea. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, we only have a third of a bow. 
Thus commenced somewhat of a downward spiral, low on durability on the spear and the bow, raining firebombs and mutant hyenas. We were in for a ride. Do regret not making another bow or a metal spear. Wait, can I make a metal spear? No, no I can't. Oh shit! Right, we can't miss. I just want my arrows, fuck it, just... Oh shit, there's more! No! Oh, we didn't plan for this. Oh no, 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 no. If I just keep jumping. What? How the fuck is he got me from up there? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I can't. How? I'm actually going to die. No. That's actually fucking outrageous. Oh, let me up, please. What the fuck is this? Come on. I can do this. I think I die. I think I die. Come on. Oh, so I need two more. I need one to go on there. Oh, I'm genuinely so stressed. Yes! This guy's a fucking psycho. I'm so stressed. No. This just—you can't punch in the game. So I'm not going to be able to fight off hyenas real soon just because my durability and my spear, my bow and I, I should have made another one. I was stupid not to. I was really stupid not to. Hopefully there isn't two more situations where I need my spear. I cannot be asked going all the way back to the boat. I need rope and metal ingots regardless. Unless wooden spear or plank and rope. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. Don't let there be any more hyenas, please. Oh! <laughs> Is that a fucking massive hyena? Yeah, that, that would be... Oh, it's a fucking boss fight. <sighs> there is a boss fight. Oh, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. No durability. No resources and no clue what we were about to get ourselves into this was going to be a clusterfuck well we gotta do this first time oh. do i need to put him on a leash the strong remain you forward scouts were the same. You build yourselves up from nothing. You keep going until you encounter something stronger. Alpha, in position. Kill! Fuck. If I don't need to attack... Wow, great animation there. If I don't need to attack him, we're fine. I thought it would be something to do with the leashes. Why would it not be something to do with the leashes? Well, that doesn't seem to affect him at all. Does it? Oh, great. Half my health has gone. Love that. Mate, I can't kill a fucking bear with the amount of shit that I have on me. Never mind a radioactive mutant Hakuna Matata. Yeah, are these even affecting him? What's going on here? What? What the fuck's this? Is that his bollock? Did I just see his dick? What the fuck is that? It wasn't so much the fact that I died that pissed me off. It was the fact that the reason I died, in my eyes anyway, was that I didn't have the durability on my weapons to compete. It all came back to durability at the end of the day. I hated it, despised it, and it had cost me time. God, I was thoroughly depressed having to loop back up and make my way all the way back to the top. But we did it, and eventually we were back in the arena, except this time it was different, because I was out for revenge.
Yeah, look. Oh, fuck off. Like five nights of Freddy's this shit, man. When he, whenever he's glowing, I feel like he's, his hide, like, thickens. I can do this. I just have to believe. Yeah, look, now I won't be able to hit him, so I'm not, I'm not going to waste. Oh, shit. It's fine. We're going to take our time. These don't come too fast. I can do this. I can do this. It's just timing and patience. That's all it is. Lots of jumping. Don't corner yourself in this bit. Look how many fucking arrows I've got in him. Come on. Look at this. Elite strats. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. Die. <gasps> oh, no. I'm out of bullets. Any more bullets? No. Is there any way to dodge that? Oh, please. For the love of God. I might cry. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Can I have my arrows back? I'll hold the pick up. Oh. I can't tell you. All that was running through my head was... I don't have the time. I don't have the time. We had done it. Hakuna Matata was no more. He was finished. And now... It was time to once and for all come face to face with Olaf. Oh! I might be able to push him out the window. I am your savior. Everything that you have done. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. He didn't die. Oh, you're... I can't... I'm not going to be able to kill him, am I? Because what rating is this game? I promise you, I'm not a psychopath. Honestly, I'm not. But let's move quickly on from that subject. As we had one more thing to do. might actually be doing this. I could be building this up and I'm so far off, but I feel that this is it. This is the walk. I've got goosebumps. When the ocean itself broke civilization, the survivors were left with nothing. Yet, they persisted. Is that better? The forward scouts rose up from the wreckage, defied our flooded world, and brought back hope. Oh. Oh, he didn't die. Utopia stands free once again, thanks to their actions. He's in the fucking jail. Final chance. We can begin this slow and difficult road to recovery. From today on, we are all forward scouts. Ready to discover the next step for humanity. Oh! Yes! That's it. Oh! Finish the story. We fin- We did it. We did it. We did it. Deto, is it really you? You, sir, you're the real, real hero of this story. No one ever listens to me. Maybe they'll listen after this. They should. That's the only line the game's going to give him. The best character in the game. Good work. Oh, there's more. Olaf won't be ruining anything else as long as I have a say in it. You should be king. I heard some of the rafters made it out of Tangaroa. Sanjay might be with them. He'll always make it. Good, uh. Sanjay. I hope you find him. Hey, fuck off, Eula. 
I miss my temperance for a bit. I miss my as a researcher. Did you get stop fingering me, please? Utopia is my home now. Everyone is really nice here. to investigate on behalf of the council. You've heard about my experiments. Who told you? I seen them firsthand. I think Ruben got me a raft because he didn't want me causing any trouble in the high risers. Jokes on him. I haven't even blown up the raft once. So far. <sighs> you know what? It's it feels like we started We started the game on the raft. It it feels <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I hate the ocean so much. Hey, we started we started the game on the raft. It only feels right that we finish it on the raft. I I mentioned this before, I can't remember in what episode. But I actually thought to myself when I first started playing the game, oh no. This is gonna be a long playthrough. I didn't enjoy the game for like the first five hours. It was I, I, I just felt it was a bit tedious. I felt like it was just like grindy and I was like it has oceans in it and listen It's already difficult for me to enjoy a game if it has oceans in it in the first place Never mind with all these other stuff But as I started exploring as we started to find out more about Bruce and the, the people in the game as we started to discover the different uh, like points of interest the islands the cruise ship all of that sort of stuff then then I really started to enjoy it. After completing this game now, I can say I'm really glad I played Raft. It's been a game that I've seen. I've not watched any content of it. Of course, I've no interest in ocean games. But it's one of those things you always hear people talk about it. Oh, what a good game Raft is. You should try Raft. It's one of the better survival games. And we did it. We did it. We did it. We actually completed it. We actually completed it. But I have a big thank you to you. Thank you for sticking through this journey with me. I really, really do appreciate it. The videos have taken a very, very long time to make. But that's okay because I do love making them. But if you have enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me. If you could just drop the video a like. And if you aren't subscribed and you're watching the outro screen to part 5 of Raft. Need I say more? Hit that subscribe button. You have no idea, troops, how much it helps. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Fuck! Jackson! We did it. We fucking did it. Click and scroll, I can't.